All right, gamers, welcome to my Senate Diamond series. Today we're going to be playing Sana Zyra against Tristana Lulu. I think Sana's really underrated at the moment because of static shifts. So Sana, I think uh, her biggest weak, not exactly her biggest weakness, but one of her biggest weaknesses is her lack of wave clear, more so than other ADCs, because even though she has an AOE ability in Q, her DPS is just painfully low throughout most of the game. So uh, other low wave clear ADCs like Vayne, for example, they eventually get like okay wave clear just by virtue of you know how high their DPS is, so how quickly they can kill each individual minion and therefore kill a whole minion wave. But Senna's DPS remains quite low for the entire game, so there's never a point where her wave clear just becomes okay, it's just terrible like all game long. And that's where Static Shift comes in because uh static shiv therefore by getting that as first item and then having that for the entire rest of the game means her wave clear is actually decent from you know every point onwards after she completes static shiv and so because this is one of her biggest weaknesses the fact that on the adc role you can now just remove that weakness of hers i think makes her a pretty viable pick right now so if senna so if senna had been like decent or okay previously, and then Static Shift was introduced, then I think Senna would be absolutely busted right now. Instead, Senna ADC was pretty weak, and with the introduction of Static Shift, that makes her okay. Okay, just thought I should have tried to cover Lulu there by going aggressive on me. Alright, that's fine. We're not going to overstep there trying to kill Lulu. We can just be happy about getting a good trade here. Okay. Oh, she actually got hit by that. Nice one. Yeah, she's currently trading alone, so... It's a good time to try and punish her. This good start is already really good. We would absolutely love, by the way, playing uh, playing against enchanters when you're playing Senna. You want to avoid uh, playing against stuff that can just all in you and kill you, since Senna's pretty much the squishiest ADC in the game. The stuff that is more focused on trading, like Lulu, is a whole lot better, because it kind of loves to trade. Not just because, like, her healing makes her decent in trades, but also just because, obviously, you get the passive stacks, which is amazing. Since we're facing Tristana, though, which is, you know, sort of like the opposite of what we like to face, and she's like an all-in ADC. Uh, we are running Exhaust just to minimize her all-in potential, make her less scary, it limits her options. You get, like, right now, when I'm half HP, this would usually be exactly when Tristana thrives and we would be in a lot of trouble but because I have exhaust it's not really gonna make it possible for her to just jump in and kill me should need me to be much lower for that to work nice so you can see so long as I can't be all in then I'm just bombing the souls here We're having a good time. We're obviously going to get less souls than if we were playing support. But the more we can trade, the more we can make up for that. And although although we're going to end up with less souls than if we were playing support, we and we have a lot more gold to abuse whatever mist we do have. Nice one. Doesn't really matter... Too much in which order you do Q auto or auto Q. Just as long as you land them both. You get missed every time. Ideally, you should would generally rather start with Q though, in case the enemies start to back off after the first hit. The slow will help you land that. Um Okay, I feel like I should definitely go for the plating. So I would usually recommend not going for this wave. We'll see if um Sarah touches the wave or not. Mm, actually. I can at least kill the melees, I guess. There we go. I won't bother with the rest. It'll take too long. I could have actually based there, though, where I was in XP range of that, I guess. But it will. Not too big a deal. But you can see, just by killing the melees, the wave already ends up under turret. Ends up being a full reset. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna start off with the Kirche Shard. Even if we had enough gold for no cover, you can absolutely still go for Kirche Shard. It's really good with uh, play footwork. Just incentivizes you to go for trades every time they're both up. So this is gonna make it very hard for the enemies to trade against it. 
You can go nuke river if you want, though. It's just more um, farming, wave control focused than trading focused. I'm gonna start to look to thin out this wave. The faster we thin this out, the sooner it'll die when this finally crashes under our turret. The sooner we can look to trade again. Which is why I would have preferred if she didn't delay us crashing. It's not too bad, by the way, if you miss uh, Farm on Senna, because you do tend to get more missed. So she's very forgiving in that sense. You can miss a lot of lost hits, and it's like, yeah, well, whatever. I'm still getting missed. I feel so guilty about missing lost hits. Though obviously you still want some. That's why we are going to build a wave clear at him. <coughs> going to try and avoid trading while the shield is up. Oh, okay, we're going to exhaust here since we're going to get the bomb explode. What the hell? I'm going to flash here. I need to. Hopefully. Yeah. So I was able to deal with that. Wow, I almost sniped her there. I don't think it would have reached, though. But yeah, nice one. You can see, definitely, the exhaust is absolutely the only reason I survived there. Even if I had heal, especially with that little flash igniting, which I guess was smart, though very unexpected. Heal would not have saved me there. But it was, like, overall just a really bad move, just because of the fact that I had exhaust. Trading there 1v2 meant that the trade couldn't be as good as it would be if I had just been 1v1, but I take it because I know I'm going to win that. I know Tristana is just very bad in short trades. And Lulu, okay, she's decent in short trades, but I've still got the heal to just heal me up. And So even even if the uh, trade ends up being just about even, that's still worth it for me just because I end up getting missed from that. And the way Tristana, like, the only way Tristana can win that trade is by jumping in on me, which as you can see, not too smart an idea. It's just over committing at that point. When I have exhaust, because exhaust is just way too good against Tristana. I always want to run that against her. It's a bit unfortunate for Tristana that all of her damage is on her E, and the E damage is very telegraphed. You know, it's not like Lucian Q, which she can cast it immediately and try and catch you off guard with a burst. It's like no, she places her E on you and then it explodes like two seconds later. You know, it's you know when it's gonna explode. It's not a surprise. It is just way too telegraphed damage. Extremely easy to exhaust. That is why I would recommend running cleanse. On Tristana in this lane. Because then you can get exhausted and just remove it. There we go. Running the approach velocity as well. So whenever we do land the... Q slow. It's just super easy to get in range for the mist. Already on 20 mist, by the way, speaking of. A lot of that coming from the trades. See, it's a really good matchup for us, because if we were playing against something that could all in us, like Leona, like some, especially something that can all in us through minions, it would just greatly limit our opportunities to safely go for mist trades. There, I mean, Lulu could have shielded Tristana, so the trade wasn't as bad for her, but there's just no way to prevent me going for those trades, which are always good for me, even if they're just, like, neutral. Because it just means I scale faster. Stana's not having fun in this matchup. We're just gonna keep on slow pushing. Would even freeze. I mean, so I could continue freezing if the wave had been in a freezable state, but at the same time, I'm sitting on a thousand gold. I would like to spend that soon. So I'm happy with a slow push here. Didn't exactly have much choice but to slow push instead of freeze, but I would say it's also the correct call anyway, even if I did have the choice. Also gives us a clear timeline about when to actually. You know, completely abandon the freeze slash slow push and space. And the timeline is going to be, you know, just exactly 
Didn't hit her with the W. Exactly as soon as um this is gonna start to crash, which is now. So we're gonna make sure it crashes in a timely manner. There we go. And I won't bother going for that play. Actually, so realistically I would usually base here, but Justana's just far too low. We should look to abuse this. What the hell? That might be a kill. Yeah, nice one. Try and pick up that mist. Oh, what the? How is that caster not in range? Oh, well. Yeah, so now we can look to base. After this wave. But it really would have been silly to just base there when Tristan is on the HP. I need to get away from here. Does she actually still see me? I've got exhaust if I need it. I'll exhaust her. Keep vision in the brush with the ward so I don't have to face check. Okay, nice one, Zyra. We got her. We got. Oh my god, there's so much mist. I just wanted the base, man. And they even <laughs> I have to crash this wave again. Because they managed to drag it out while they were chasing us. But no biggie. Obviously, I'm full HP, so there's nothing for Tristana to abuse here. Now we can base. Nice one, Zyra. For the, for the kind of support that you'd like on Senna, by the way, uh, this is exactly the kind of support that I'd like. You generally favor having mage supports if you're playing Senna ADC. Um, so, viable boots are both Berserkers and Swifties. I'm just going to go Berserkers this time, just because I'm going to afford them alongside Longsword. If I could only afford Berserkers, though, I would just do Swifties and Longsword, I think. Uh, now for Mythic. So actually the most common thing to do when you're doing Static Shiv Rush is Ginsu's, but I imagine pretty much any Mythic should be viable. I've already tried Ginsu's before, so I'm just going to try something that builds out a Longsword this time. So that could be Eclipse, it could be Dustblade. I think I think Eclipse is both the most common Lethality Mythic on Senna, but probably also the worst one, I think. Um, we could also try Navoria as another thing that's starting to become acknowledged as Decent Thunder, as I've been saying, you know, for quite a long time. <laughs> So maybe I'll try that this game. Yeah, I think we'll try the Navori. Now instead of using Q first there, by the way. So of course that I'm already full HP, so I miss out on the heal. But I didn't end up taking damage afterwards anyway, so. Nice. You can also see the Swifties would absolutely just help me get in range for those misprocs as well. Nice one, the slow helps me. I should have just gone for Kalash Slow there, why didn't I? Uh, it doesn't matter, she's just making up for my mistake. Um, Jeez, that was closer than I expected. Ah, I shouldn't have had to die there, my bad. I didn't think I would need to ult, but there was so much protection from the Lulu incoming that I didn't predict. Damn, I should have, I'm sure, I, I think I just ended up dying to... Wait, was that a turret? No, it wouldn't have been the turret. Maybe Lulu's Q? I thought it was a minion, but apparently, yeah, there was no minions actually there. Hmm. Was it Q? No, her Q was already on cooldown. Did she auto-attack me at the end? I think she did. I think that's what killed me. I don't see the auto-attack damage. I don't know. Whatever. It's not important. Alright, get out of there. Do not touch that wave. Nice one. Continue to not touch it. I'm just going to keep pinging it because sometimes su supports will forget what I pinged two seconds ago. Yeah, since Senna doesn't carry a lot of DPS of her own, it's just nice to have a support with you who also does a lot of their own damage. And smash support's being good. You're also a support of ADC, so it's nice to like have like a secondary carry on the lane of sorts. Alright, we gotta be careful here. I don't... Well, I don't have exhaust yet, but I'm about to get it. That should be fine, though. We're not gonna go for the auto attack, though. We just Q and walk backwards while using W on Lulu to get the mist. Because it's just... I would say it's an overcommitment to go for the auto attack there. I need to be disengaging, and W can be used while disengaging. Oh, hello. Oh, my bad. This could be a very bad thing. I need to really get out of here. Okay, 
Ja, was soll man denken? Oh man. Yeah, my bad. Didn't pay attention really to the map before he started the trick. Might be able to get Hammer Dinger here. Fortunate about the ward there though, because I'm going to get seen if I go for him, but... Okay, he's missed his abilities. We can kill him now. Okay, that missed, but it does at least give me a shield. Uh, hang on. Wait, I can't face check into that. That is too much damage. Oh, I'm... I actually just died entirely to his turret, didn't I? That blows my bad. At least he's gonna die, but I don't think I get an assist. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Should have just warded there and cut my distance. I also, honestly, I didn't realize I didn't have Q. What I was... So the reason I walked up there was actually because I was trying to get into a position to snipe where I expected Hammerdinger to be. But obviously it just looks like I'm walking around in circles like a dumbass because I didn't have mana for Q. <laughs> so I didn't cast it, obviously. My bad. I will go bolt in for now, try and get some form there. This Vax is headed mid. The more blood on your hands, the harder it is to let go. Your team has destroyed the I'm gonna use this to speed up my walk towards mid lane. Also clear whatever vision I find. What? How's it gone already? Okay, might be able to do something to Mumu here. He also might have vision of me. I think he might have. I gotta be a little bit careful. He does have some AP. That's why he did so much damage to me earlier. I had to flash away. I could tell I was gonna get one shot if I allowed him to stay in range to ult me. He's pretty ahead. Got the same farm as me as a jungler. With also four kills. Yeah, I'm obviously far too far away to defend that at the moment. Vex can just get that when she revives. Would have hit him, I swear. I gotta be very careful here, actually. Whoa, that hit me. Yeah, I do not have the range to deal with him properly yet. Will become easier later on. Hardly worth basing at the moment, still, though. I'll just wait. Heal ourselves up on this turret. One more wave, and then I can get a satisfying base. Plus the cannon. Alright, now I'm out of here. Yeah, even though we see Hammerdinger top, still not like worth pushing mid because we don't really have information on the rest of the team. Would have just been defended by a Momo who I couldn't pressure, so it would have just been wasting my time. Unless I had like confirmation that the entire enemy team, minus the Dead Nefiri, was top, then just not worth pushing mid there. We can try and rotate over for this now. I've, actually, I've got a wave here. I'm just going to prioritize the wave and then push the turret. If it was just pushing the turret, which there's no guarantee it would like work, not get defended, then I would just go bot. But since I can also get a wave... Oh, wait. My cannon! Oh, you're kidding me. i got to be very careful here, actually. Okay, nice one. Lovely... And they end up coming to the fan and just getting stomped. Nice one. Oh, 
Oh, that hit me. If he knows he's exhausted, he's actually gonna commit. You can definitely see I have to be throwing more DPS to that guy with, uh, Gensus. I think the next item is gonna have to be Lord Dominic's. My bad. I think I missed out of it. Would have been better to let Vex have it though. Nice one. Oh, I didn't notice he got Bramble Vest. I could have at least waited for the healing reduction to run out. just gonna immediately base if I can. I'll ward there, it is a little bit risky because I could just get ganked by enough Eerie there. Okay, I guess I, I think guess it's worth selling refillable because then it puts me only like 20 gold away from Lost Whisper, which is worth waiting for. Otherwise I had a pretty awkward base there. Weird that I haven't seen Tristan in a while. Seems like she's just taken to top lane. Weird that Hammer Dingers come with her to top lane. Ah uh, yes, I was doing the old classic. Oh, the enemy team were trolling by going top? Let's go top lane to defend. Instead of pushing mid. Oh, I can ult there. Ah, my bad, too late. Didn't expect them to fight 2v3. Hmm, probably could have healed her actually. Mid air, I guess. Would have been a long shot, but I think I should have been able to do it. Or she died to, I don't know, red buff? I don't know what that was that killed her. Obviously cannot afford to push any more waves there. But yeah, currently, currently... Okay, I don't quite have the most farm in the game. That award goes to a Mumu, but I'm pretty close. Which on Sunday is quite a feat. I'm gonna exhaust Tristana, try and remove some other DPS. Nice one. Ooh. Nice one. We'll just focus on healing Vex now. I'll try and block that for her. I don't know if this is terribly smart, but yeah, you know what? I'm pretty tanky. Nice one. I'm ignited. Yieldax as well. He is in trouble. Too slowed. Nice one. So I'm already huge. I'm not even like massively fat or anything. I am just simply massive. By virtue of having so much missed. Not a huge amount compared to support, but you know, a decent amount for ADC. Also, just having quite a lot of farm. Actually, I forgot he's got two Qs. I need to be careful here. There we go. As long as he doesn't have ult, we're all fine here. Should have focused on sniping just on it, actually. I can still get her, though, I guess. Mm, never mind. Alright, Nessus can honestly just take all this farm, I don't care. We're still playing a very supportive ADC, so we can afford to give a farm and just... ...benefit from all the mist that we collect in the process. Ooh, that actually kind of screws over Nefiri. My W seems to one-shot our pets. Which means that because our pets stay so near her, it's a free route a lot of the time. Nice. 
Now we can base for Lord Dominix. Okay, now can do Farcon. Another thing that's uh, sort of becoming popular in her as well is Runan's, which I always thought was a little bit on, more on the underrated side. Not like super OP in her though, like super good, like I think uh, Navori is, but it is viable. I don't think it like uh, they're also like doing it in combination with the Navori thing though, but I think that's a bit overkill. You don't necessarily need to combine them. They're just both effective for very similar reasons. Hang on. We get her here. Try to snap him there. Oh my god, he's at a turret next to me the whole time, I didn't notice. Nice, nice. So yeah, I mean, you can do Rinna's if you want. I guess, you know what, we'll just try this game. I'm not sure I've even tried Navori and Runans combined, but I will tell you that the Runans does not, like, amplify the Navori. What it does do, though, is it applies auto attacks for your Q three times in a row. And so the idea behind combining them is that uh, you gain, basically, reduction on your Q four times in one auto attack. One, for, one from the actual auto attack, two from Navori, and then another two from, uh, like, the Runan spread. Got her. Ooh. Another reason why I thought Renance was pretty decent on Senna, especially if you're, you know, if you're playing farming Senna at least, was because it gave her some wave clear, which obviously not as early a static shift to fix up your mid-game wave clear situation, but uh, still better than nothing. Obviously, we don't really care about the wave clear now though when we have static shift. Oh man. You can let other people take the farm. Ooh, and there's a miss there at the notice. Perfect. So now in the mid game, when we're starting to group up and everybody else, we can just hand over the farm to everybody else. This is when our miss production really ramps up. Just take the turret first. I don't want to take aggro. Just on his way over step there. Nice. Oop, I'm a bit too close there. My bad. Them. I was rooted there, so I couldn't hold sooner. Okay. I'm just going to base now. But yeah, I mean, as a whole, I don't think it's, like, hugely important what kind of... Mythic you use in Sun at the moment, or what, uh, like, build order after your Mythic you use. There's a lot of, like, definitely viable Senna builds. I think the only important thing is just rushing Static Shiv. You can do Lethality Senna, DPS Senna with Kinsu's, on hit Senna, I guess you could call it, uh, Crit Senna with Infinity Edge, Crit Senna with Navori. All of that is decent, should be good enough to climb with, but the absolute most important thing is no matter what build you're using, use Static Shiv. Rush it, even. It's just by far her best item. Not so important. To, it's not important at all if you're playing support because, of course, in support you don't need to farm or manage waves at all. But obviously, in ADC, it's a whole different matter. Oh, and another nice thing, by the way, about the uh, Runance is that when you like pick up your mist for whatever reason, that just counts as an auto attack, and so that means you pick up a mist, and it's it, even though you're not auto attacking, it shoots a bolt at nearby enemies. It's kind of weird. But in some situations, by picking up a mist, you will actually just like do a slight auto attack to an enemy that you couldn't have you know, even couldn't even have reached even if you wanted to. Oh boy, Hammer can knock his like old turret into the pit with that. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna do it. No, he's not doing it. Oh. Oh man, he's fast. Come on. I'm gonna exhaust if I need it. I'll use it just to be safe, but I'm not sure I really needed it. Oh man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wasn't too paying too much attention to my run pulse there, but I'm guessing they put in some work. Hardly even needed to use Q, so the cooldown reduction didn't really matter there. We'll use Q, and you can see... I already have it again, and I got too close while trying to demonstrate that, my bad. Yeah, we got such a low cooldown, but the Runa's bolts aren't even doing too much. Like, it's, you can see it's very situational. It's not core to this build at all. But anyway, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another episode of Senna to Diamond. In this game, we're going to be playing Senna Blitzcrank. Into, once again, Tristana and Yumi. So, once again, exactly the kind of match we want. Like, sure, Tristana is maybe not ideal as an all-in based ADC, but she does not have an all-in based support. She has a very trade-focused support, which is going to force Tristana to have a more trade-focused playstyle, especially because I'm running Exhaust, so she won't be able to get away with just all me all the time. And so that's just going to make it very... A very son of favorite matchup. So this is exactly the kind of situation, by the way, where I go with the Q second instead of the auto attack, just purely because I was sitting on full HP. I do not want to waste. Ooh, actually, hang on. Let's just first to have to retreat into the wave. She wants to get that trade off. Boom. Not an amazing trade, but we'll be fine. That's what the sustain is for. They are going to be hitting level 2 very soon. Nice. Managed to pick up. That one missed. Yeah, I decided to save that auto attack since I had fleet charged up to use on Tristan instead. Generally, if you have fleet up, you'd like to trade as much as possible. Obviously, don't want to like completely disregard your farm. Trying too too hard to force a trade, but if it's a very good trade. It can be worth giving up one farm. This could be very good. Ooh, we're gonna have to ignore the cannon here. Ooh, damn. Okay, we at least get some mist there. From the trade. And for us, Tristana W, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but let me tell you, as a multi-season long, multi-year long Tristana main, it really sucks to have to use that mana on your jump. Ooh. Does he have hook? Is he gonna land it? Ah, damn. Nice try. I guess that's flash for flash, right? I think she flashed, yeah. Actually, I didn't have to level E here. I don't really have the mana to use E, but whatever. I would have preferred to put another point in Q. So that could hit harder. Okay, does he have another hook? Oh, he just keeps barely missing. But no biggie. Yeah, you can see just on the struggling. Just not the kind of matchup she wants. Don't really actively want to trade while the shield is up if I can avoid it. Also, while my Q is on cooldown. What? She just dodged it. What the hell? Mm. Oh, okay. Well, still. He forced the mana. That's good. I'm running the AD shard instead of attack speed, by the way. So, it's making my attack speed and ability to farm a little bit lower than it could be. But I think it's worth it overall since I'm going skill better with AD than with attack speed. <laughs> nice one. Gotta be a little bit careful there. I could tell I was gonna get a third shot if I tried to us hard to that trade. I'm also gonna make sure we got some vision down. We're unlikely to get killed by a Shavana gank, but. Obviously, never be too safe. Okay, so I think Tristan is probably just gonna base here. I can start the base as well. Is Tristana gonna appear? No, so if she were to walk into the lane now and start shoving now, as soon as I finish my base, she is just not gonna be able to crash that, so it's a good time for me to base. Uh, because my wave clear is fairly limited. <clears throat> okay, so she did game me here a little bit. It's not like the best base it could have been. It would have been a really good base if. Tristana had actually have been in base 
Is that she's gonna get to have a like somewhat okay recall here rather than being having to base while I'm basing on a freeze, which would be really good for me and really bad for her. But at the same time, I'm not missing too much here because it's like I said, she if she'd been able to crash that first wave, huge mistake for me to recall there. But because I waited long enough that I know she doesn't have time to crash that, I end up just arriving here to a massive wave. So sure, it wasn't the huge base that I should have probably had against somebody who was 30% HP. But it's not a big deal, it's just a little bit of a wasted opportunity. Tristana, huge mistake for you to be staying here. She needs to get that base off. So she is. She does have to miss a wave here 100%. She actually didn't manage to even get a full crash even on the second wave. Which is what she needed for it to be a decent base. So you can see, she's greeting and choosing to stay here, but she also, like, she knows she can't actually afford to get this wave, so she's just wasting her time. She needs to get her HP back to be able to try anything at all in this lane. Because, um... <clears throat> this is two games in a row where we're facing... A bot lane that we outscale and we're beating them in the lane and i wouldn't say i'm making any huge out plays to make this happen either so a lot of it is just down to the matchup just being so good and I'll, honestly exhaust is a huge part of it as well like just is just just sucks against exhaust man just great little limits sir but here she's just being pure greedy she needs to get into a bot into a spot where she can try and turn this lane around for her just to not get massively outscaled. So every every moment she spends greeting for farm here is just like her struggling to stay even while doing nothing to actually win the lane. If she doesn't win the lane, then she's gonna be in huge trouble. Okay, this is a Drake for Shivana. Could be level six. Level six, she becomes a little bit scary. Oh, hello. Shivana's getting honey for it instead of basing, man. She's so allergic. Damn it. Nice. I actually didn't mean to target Yumi there, but we're able to use that to get more mist. As you can see, like she can't pressure me, so I'm just free farming on her here. Using her as mist production. You really need either all in or just like a bunch of relentless poke like from a Xerath support or something to pressure Senna. But ideally you want all in. All in is what Senna is weakest to since she has sustained to heal herself up at least a little bit from support poke. Any kind of poke really. Doesn't matter who it's from. Okay, I can look the base here. There's no point setting on a thousand gold. If I don't base here, then Tristana is going to be closer in go uh, or rather closer in inventory value to me than she should be. And we want to maintain our lead. Yeah, if I didn't base, we'd be about even in inventory value. Whereas now. I'm about, uh, what is this, 700? Yeah, I think 700 gold ahead for an inventory value. <clears throat> Just a little bit extra as well with this uh, refillable potion. I'm going to try and prioritize going for a trade here over getting the cannon. We hit her with that. That's a slow. That might help place land that. I'll flash this back up, but it doesn't matter. Nice. Just barely had the damage to kill her there. Awesome. Did this cannon... No, I killed it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, come on. These minions are just executing whatever minion I leave on 5 HP. Alright, I probably won't be able to crash this wave in time to make her miss a lot of farm. And on top of that, it would also just barely leave me with not enough gold for static shift. So we're just going to be a little bit patient here and just slow push this wave and crash the next one. It's, it's a bit unfortunate that the next one is kind of wave. So maybe actually we could actually just slow push the next wave as well. We can try it. I'm not 100% sure if that would work because this auto might already be too big a wave. It might push too fast. But, you know, how am I going to learn if I don't try it, you know? So we're going to try and slow push. I think it, it might work. This will only backfire if this wave ends up dying and this whole wave ends up pretty much... Like, halfway under the enemy turret. Not a full crash. But, uh... Like, 
forcing us to be really overstanded. Anyway, that didn't happen. It looks like the wave was probably fine. It is what I was leaning more towards. It just was a light risk because I wasn't 100% sure, but all good. Wow, that's a lot of mess we get here as well. Perfect. And you can see, since we slow pushed that second wave and crashed that third wave instead, the third wave being a non-cannon wave, we shoved that super fast. Gives us way more time to get a good recall here. <coughs> then if we had tried to base on a uh, cannon wave, which was the second wave. You should stop hitting us. Alright, we now have boots. Alright, what build do we want to try this game? We could try Lethality. Uh, don't know why I bought the stagger actually. We could sell it, I guess. We could, or we could just do Berserkers again, even if we're doing Lethality. <clears throat> Berserkers feel nice on Sunny, even if they aren't like super good. It's not like Jin where you barely feel any value from Berserkers. You definitely feel it, it's just hardly worth the gold. Yeah, where is Yumi actually? Oh, she's mid, what the hell? How long has she been mid? Or not bought at least. Uh, I was trying to snipe her with that. Did he aggro? He did. Nice. So, oop. Sorry, Blitz. I don't know if I could have done much really, but yeah, I was saving my ultimate there in case uh, Tristana like flashed away, jumped away, just managed to survive and walk away. There's no point using ultimate when we're still in range to auto attack when ultimate is our longest range ability. Sure, there's a chance we will miss it, but it's more likely to secure the kill if we use it as a finisher from out of range than to use it uh, like in front of Tristana's face when we can just auto attack her. Um, next wave is a cannon wave, so as much as we have the static shift, which is going to help us with wave clear a lot. Probably for the best if we just base on this wave. Or of course, this game we could... You know what, we'll try Infinity Edge. I can't remember the last time I tried Infinity Edge on Senna. Should be fine. But I would wager that probably either Navori or one of the two uh, good lethality mythics is the best uh, mythic on Senna. Nice. I'm probably so ahead now to the point where even if she tried to all in me there and I didn't have exhaust, I would still win that even if Bliss wasn't in the lane. But I mean, when I've got exhaust, it is just so one-sided. So basically, the way you play this as Tristana, by the way, I should, probably should have mentioned this in the first game as well, uh, is you obviously can't do anything as long as the exhaust is up, or at least you can't get a good trade while the exhaust is up. But Senna also has no reason to burn exhaust if you don't try anything. So you basically, what you're basically forced to do, aside you know from running plans like a smart person, is you take a, you jump in, take a bad trade, and you know it's going to be a lost trade because of exhaust. But you just suck it up, take the bad trade, burn the exhaust, jump out again, make sure you don't die, obviously. And you're going to come out worse on the trade, you're going to lose the trade. You might even be at a disadvantage until you recall. But the important thing is, the exhaust is now burnt. Now, next time you recall, next time you add even HP, you, you now actually have a chance to maybe do something. Because you have stronger all-ins than Sunna does. Nice. What are they doing here? You need to do something about the exhaust. You can't just play like a pussy all game because they have exhaust and then just never end up doing anything and never burning the exhaust. You need to force it. I'm very reluctant to actually... Yeah, walk up on ward there since LeBlanc was around. <clears throat> I'm actually ulting just for the kill so that was so troll actually. Had my brain turned off there. Shut 
I'm just gonna wait for my queue to come up because it's a slow. There we go. Okay, that's already over. We'll just go for the mist. Maybe I should have kept chasing LeBlanc. I'm not sure. Wait, did I? I misclicked there, yeah. All good. Ooh. Missed one. Come on, the mist at the back. Ah, oh, I just barely missed two mist. Oh well. It may not seem like much, but it is a big deal if you, like, miss small amounts of mist throughout the game because it really adds up. Anyway, it doesn't really matter if the game is about to end. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Sun of the Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Senna Twitch into Misfortune Swain. So Misfortune is like more the kind of ADC we'd like to face, unlike Tristana. But the support is also going to be a lot less favorable for us this time, since Swain... It feels like he kind of should be like a trading focus support, which would be good. But in, in reality, he just plays more like a pick focus support. And if we get picked, we're squishy, so we are very likely to die. It's not good. So we basically have to avoid the ease at all cost in this lane. He's got to be careful not to drag that trade out too hard. Yeah, okay. I'll be able to heal him up slowly at least. Not too bad. Well, I actually wanted to hit him with the heal as well, but I failed at that clearly. We'll ignore the miss for now, just gonna go on Misfortune. Just making sure to rush into the brush, keep her in vision. There we go, easily done. I'm knowing that I'm forced to tower die for that miss, but whatever. I'll just heal us both up in case we get ganked or swaying the rise back into lane. Something like that. Yeah, by that point, I was just too high HP and swaying too low HP. I think it was not bad to get to either. I wasn't necessarily doing it on purpose, but I, w I was okay with the outcome of getting hit by Swain either. That's why I played aggressively. Nice one. Alright, I'm gonna base now. We can base for... Purchase shard and refillable. Hi. We can actually just use Q there just to get us out of base a little bit faster. Preferably before we hit full mana so that our mana regen is actually doing something. I don't think there's anything else you can queue in the fountain besides your allies, though, so... It's only doable when somebody else is there. As far as I know, at least. I don't know, maybe there's a way you can heal the fountain laser and that doesn't lose HP. Ah, so annoying. That is, like, so overextended for no reason. I just can't get that one. Nice one. This could be a kill. She's stuck on the Twitch Poison, which is really bad for her. May even be able to get this guy now. I'll use Ghost so we can stay in range. Eh, maybe it was a bit overkill, but... There we go. Just making sure we stay in range for the W to land. The only reason it might have been overkill was actually Twitch could maybe just kill him without me landing W. So the landing W was actually not that important. So long as he had E, he would have been able to kill him. I'd rather not use a single target queue, I'd rather hit the whole wave if I'm looking to base, which I am. Obviously, we're gonna have to slow push at least one wave here, though, to make this work, and... The second wave is also gonna... Oh. What a time for me to tab away. <laughs> yeah, not gonna be able to crash this wave, not gonna be able to crash the next one. And without Twitch's help, at least, then I can't reliably enlist this help, so... Just gonna keep focus on continuing to slow push the second wave.
Nice one. Hmm, we could have slow pushed that. I should have another wave, I also get the new cover. But yeah, this time it didn't work. I think we had a bigger wave that time. Alright, I got no cover. If we have to give up three casters, it's whatever. It's not as much gold as the melees, it's not as much XP as the melees. And they're so squishy that they will die to this wave and actually properly reset. It's just most important that you always clear the melees at the very least, because if you don't clear the melees, that's a bit of a situation. Can easily lead to a uh, freeze for the enemies, but recasters aren't really enough. In that situation, at least. I believe Katarina E is actually an auto attack reset, so her actual ideal combo there would have been auto E auto. She, if she got unlucky, she might have been screwed over by doing E auto there. Worked out fine, but. As a non katarina player, I think that's what you sh she should have done. All right, it's fine. Gonna be an AD support twitch. I remember when the only support twitch that got played was AP. Don't know why that changed. AP should be better for support. It's less dependent on gold. Gonna pick up this plating. I don't even really need the base. All I can, all I would be able to pick up is uh, no cover, not no cover. Uh, quick look. We'll stay until the full static shift. I meant to queue Swain there. Nice. Yeah, definitely favor presence of mind in this slot. Overheal and triumph I think are also viable, but would definitely feel crappy just. Being low in mana all the time. Sana is very mana reliant compared to other ADCs. Yeah, I had to, had to tank that Swain W if I wanted to get the loss out, sadly. At least I believe so. That's what I get for cutting my loss hit so close. So Kha'Zix looking a bit more on the fed side, got three kills already. Then a vision in the try, but I'm sure I could escape if he ganks through there with my Ian Ghost. Whoa, clicking the map there. Oh, good. They should probably be going for the Drake now. <laughs> what? At least wait until I throw my W, which I wasn't even going to do, because I wasn't really able to go for a kill there without vision. This time I absolutely can slow push this because we only have one wave pushing with us this time instead of two. And don't necessarily think I'd need to because even though I don't have static shiv yet, I do already have some DPS. And definitely if Twitch helped, then crashing this was a possibility. But at the same time, we're no rush. Ah, min block was the reason I got hit there that time. Um. Okay, nice. You got a kill. That's one. Wow. He's pretty strong, isn't he? 
I just wanted to shove fun beast there. We'll keep healing him instead of hitting the turret. Actually, I could do both if I just stand behind him. Alright, whatever. We got the plating. Yeah, even though we're alone for now, we just keep healing him because of the possibility of a gank. Now he's a bit higher HP. Nice one. Alright, just leave that whiff. No need to shove that. Well, he even knows about the self-recall trick. Guy knows how, how to play Twitch. Alright, so I think this game we're just gonna test out one of the lethality builds, so we'll go for Swifties. I think lethality makes sense in this game because pretty much their entire comp is squishy, no tanks. Nice one. Mm, didn't get an assist. Oh well. Fleet. Oh god, I'm very much in trouble here, I'm dead, so... Wanted to do as much damage as possible before I die, but didn't get to do much since I didn't have queue up. Mm. I guess if I ulted with Twitch's help, we would have been able to win. Not bad. I definitely had plenty of time to just place a ward. I was definitely caught at an awkward time there with my Q, 5 seconds of cooldown, and my Q didn't even hit Misfortune initially like I intended to, I accidentally queued the turret. Happens a lot, the Q uh, hitbox is actually like very weird. Should be stronger than her, I imagine. We'll just ult her here while she's rooted, just to get a... ...cross a good trade. It would have been better if I could have extended it further off to the ult, though. Because I had the shield up, so it's good to land the free damage while I can't take damage back, but... Oh well. At the least we guarantee an ult hit there. Now we've got Q and the Static Shift proc, so we got plenty of burst there. Next up that work, we'll pick up that mist, even though it costs us a tower shot. Nice. And they got a kill on Kha'Zix. Apparently Swain was also mid. Hmm... I could be in trouble for trying to shove this in, but we'll see. I think we should be fine, because they only just started re uh, respawning. Alright, we're gonna have to recall all the way at the back here. Uh, between Dustblade and Yomu's, I guess I would rather do Dustblade. The mobility should be quite nice on Senna. I did say Ghostblade, right? I didn't mean Ghostblade, not Dustblade, they have similar names. Might have said Dustblade. Oh, not where I'm at the path. Did I hit someone? I did. Swain. Ooh. We're playing the best ADC against Yasuo, by the way, since our auto attacks travel through the wind wall. 
I'll go ghost if I need it. It's not looking like I will need it though. Oof, damn, so close. Was well, misfortune? She here? No. Oh, yeah, she is there. I could try and ghost and get her. Nope. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Hang on. Hmm. I should have just tried the ult, but obviously far too low to try and duel Yone now. Unless maybe I can just escape through here. You should be chasing me at the very least. I'm just gonna use Q to get a heal. Wow, no way I just escaped like this. That's stupid. One at ult. Well, the main reason was it could potentially miss, and I figured I could, I mean, I kind of disregarded the fact that Misfortune is just the fastest ADC, so hard to chase down, but... The idea was with the in Ghost, I could just chase it down extremely hard, get that guaranteed kill. And save ult for dueling somebody, because I didn't expect to have to take so much turret shots to kill Misfortune there. Definitely played it badly though. I should have just used Ian Ghost to instead escape Yone instead of trying to fight him while using the ult to try and get the kill on Misfortune. Got the Misfortune. Wow, this Twitch. Nice one. And two more miss for me. This is a team full of carries, so it's a pretty good game to play Senna. Minus the uh, lean matchup not being the most amazing one, but made it work. Was definitely a lot more reliant on them screwing up, though, than the previous two lanes. Which were just not the ideal win conditions for the enemy bot lanes. And of course, it helps that Twitch is playing really well this game. Hmm, what item do we want next? Could do Collector, could do... Fire Cannon... Let's just do Collector. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's not what I meant to sell. <laughs> this is what I meant to sell. <laughs> Hmm, Team Select Witch is not a smurf. Just having a very good game, I guess. He does main Twitch, though. Main Twitch support. Okay, we're gonna disregard top lane. Too far away from us. Need to get out of here. Should be fine. Nice one. I was gonna pick up those honey fruit, but I guess I won't bother. Oh, this didn't hit him. Wow, I wasn't isolated there, so... Or I was isolated, rather. I was, I was trying to avoid getting isolated, but Solus was just not standing near enough. Anyway, since um, he ended up behind me instead of in front of me, so my ult would have missed, I think I probably would have just died there anyway, without killing Kha'Zix. Maybe I could have um, set up a uh, for Solus. But I definitely needed him standing near me for that, and I could I could obviously only control so much about um, being non-isolated there. 
I definitely gave Salas the chance to stand near me, I think. Well, they did get slowed by Kha'Zix W. But absolutely, his priority there should have been standing near me ASAP. Just another one of us can get one shot. Oh, I could have ulted Yone here. <laughs> they still too late. Oh, well. At least I got the kill, though. I definitely could have saved that Drake, though. Obviously, can't steal it, but I could ideally prevent them from getting it, too. Let's go back mid. We could also get the blue buff. I think I'll do that. Drone with Salas is pretty far away from blue. Plenty of time to get this. Something you could optionally do, I guess, if you're doing either Lethality or Navori, is build. I'd rather get this red ideally, <laughs> but whatever. Is build tier after you finish the static shiv. And before you build your um, mythic, whether it's lethality or Navori. Okay, I played way too risky there, just trying to pick up a mist, my bad. I just like showing off that I can just auto attack through the wind wall. I guess like, he actually did damage him, but it just didn't do much damage because of his shield. Now, actually, what I don't know for sure is whether you can actually grab the mist through the wind wall, though. Did I get extra mist there? No, I didn't actually. So, yeah, so I did the animation of grabbing the mist, but it actually, the mist actually doesn't pass through the wind wall, funnily enough. So you can deal damage to him through the wind wall, but you just can't pour mist on him through it. Kind of annoying, but. Obviously, not the reason I died there. Just sad I didn't get mist alongside dying. Alright, now we can do Fire Cannon. I don't really think we need. Yeah, we don't really need Lord Dominic's at all this game. At any point. Oh god, that was a lot of damage. You could also do Collector with Navori as well. I don't know why I have vision of this, but I'm happy about it. Holy crap, how did they get almost aced? We could actually do Baron there. Ping it, but our jungle is going the opposite way. We might just be able to get it without our jungler, in all fairness. Let's go to crab bot side and the bear on top side. Really good pathing, Silas. Yeah, you can see, like, I think the damage between um, Navori and Yomus is fairly similar. But obviously the cooldown reduction on Navori is just crazy compared to this. Navori just feels a whole lot better than Lethality to me. Feels like it has some of the same advantages, but... Oh, hello. I'll be fine. Nice one. Oh god, you almost, of course, let's activate that. Nice one. There's Kha'Zix, I was wondering where he would be. I 
There he is. Yeah. When he doesn't have isolation, we are perfectly fine there. We're pretty tanky overall, so long as you can add the Q heal to the equation at this stage of the game. I guess I can do a trick by myself. I guess I'll try and save the Q for the last hit. I don't think anybody's contesting though. Oof, would have missed it by 25 HP or something. Uh, I could go for this. So yes, I don't need it for an item right now, but would be nice though to get level 16. Before I'm two waves, I think we'll get that. There we go, we got it. Hmm, what do I want now? I guess Stormers are- ooh, Stormers should be really good at this stage of the game, I feel like. Triple Energizer, let's go. It's either that or we just do like Edge of Night, which could also be good. I know, fairness. Ow. I need to flash that. <gasps> no, he wasn't meant to flash in range of me. Fuck. I should have him though. Oh. I cursed him. My bad, Twitch. <laughs> Shit. Nah, I shouldn't have walked up to Kha'Zix like that. It's just too much dopamine, man. The possibility of picking up so much mist. Oh, just one Q, man. 841 damage. Them. I thought she would be running, what the hell? Oh, what? Yeah, got vision of him from that at least. Farming this way before I recall. Or I could just walk to Yasuo, I guess. Nah, I have to recall. Nah, actually I could collapse on him. Which is defending. So remember, we can actually kill Yasuo fairly easily. Because we can now attack through the wind wall. The only thing we need? Oh my god. I didn't know he had that. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. So I was thinking there was no way for him to gap close onto us. So long as we stayed out of range of his E, but he could just skill for us into your range, which I hadn't realized he had. My bad. Could have escaped if I actually managed to not misclick the boss cone, though. I saw Chalk with timing for me to activate it as well though, because it meant that I couldn't activate W when I realized what it was doing. By the time he closed the gap onto me, there was no longer any point in casting W because it wouldn't disengage him fast enough, so my only hope was going for the Blast Gun. It's sad though, because if I had just immediately W'd, sure he would have done all this burst onto me, but then the gap would have been broken. And I could just escape fairly easily, so... A bit, so a little bit cheese slash a little bit not fully thought out from me. Um, but also just a tiny little bit of bad luck factors into it as well. With the exact timing of my E. And the exact timing with Gale Force. Ooh, close. And he's dead. Nice one. I now have Storm Reserve. Let's see if we, I need to base and deal with this also.
This time he doesn't have a go for us. Damn. Okay, he only got a turret, not an inhibitor, so it's not a huge deal. Starting to get a lot of mist as well. <coughs> Also starting to get a lot more gold than I need though. Do need XP though. Oh god, if they get one more Drake, they have the soul. Okay, we have Smite on Silas, should be free for us in theory. Actually, well actually, do I know where Kha'Zix is? Can't remember where he died last. Alright, nice one. Let's get out of here. I'm getting out of here. Ooh. Damn, I don't have all the can do anything. Oh, come on. Got him. And we got him. Can chase him down fairly easily. Ooh, misfortune's got this. Probably just gonna escape. Oh, runs into one of my allies though. Unfortunate for her. Nice one. Still getting missed. Oh. All right, this time we gotta remember about the. Okay, yeah, no more girl force in the also. That's good. He's very sad about the fact that I can just not attack him through the wall. It is a huge weakness to have against the enemy team's ADC. Really is such a good ADC pick on against Yasuo. Not just ADC, I mean even in support it really does screw him over to just not be able to do anything about the autos. As long as then is building damage. I guess we can sell this for... That's our Renan's. Hmm. We'll do Phantom Netzer. Or Renan's rather for the CDR. Not Q. Like I said, you don't need to combine it with Navori. Yes, yeah, looking like, like my move speed is perfectly fine without boots. Just letting everybody else farm, obviously. Even if I weren't full build, I would still do that. Not isolated. Nice. If I was isolated, I was just dead there. Thankfully, we can kill him in time. Thanks to the isolation. Out, out, out. <laughs> Through the wind wall. There's so much mist. I can't even pick it all up. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Senna Swain into Callista Blitzcrank, which should be the worst matchup we've had so far. Callista's really good in the early game, Blitzcrank is definitely very well apt to forcing all ins, which is exactly what we want to avoid as Senna. Probably should have run exhaust, so I might stand a chance of surviving if I ever get hit by a hook. But too late to undo that mistake. I think I can just harass Anna or Callista while she's doing this, right? Yeah. The hell, bro. Nice one. I had not the best time to do that. <laughs> oh, was she thinking? 
Missed a lot of ex a uh, lot of lost hits, rather. Oh well. Oh, I thought that guy was maybe walking off for a hook, but no, it was just way overextended trying to pick up lost hits. Took way too much poke for that. So we're already off to a pretty good start. They're playing the lane obviously like really terribly so far. I'm, like it is low elo, but still I'm surprised at just how terrible it is. Oop. Okay, can't quite finish her off, but it's decent. Oh, actually, can I finish her off? Nice one. We can. Which is good, we want to pull off that dive as soon as possible, so... She misses all of that farm that is currently under threat. Oh no. Alright, we're gonna... I think we're gonna leave the wave there. Yeah. It's not the perfect crash, ideally all of this wave would have ended up under threat, but either way... You can see that it will end up pushing towards me, which is exactly what I need it to do. And yeah, so far off to a fantastic start to what should be a terrible lane. Hopefully we can keep this up. They still have a chance to easily turn it around. Yeah, I don't know, I guess Kalista thought the <laughs> binding process would take a whole lot less than that. But it is a pretty long thing. It's kind of uh, annoying that they force her to have that mechanic. Oh, come how does my Q miss, man? Alright, this should be good. Let's go for the Blitz so I can get the other miss since I don't think we're killing either one of them. Yeah, so, good thing they're staying, because I can't really shove that in. I think it also would have been okay if I just actually let myself get hooked there. Actually, I shouldn't have been afraid of getting hooked there. I think we're so healthy and they're so low that forcing a trade that way wouldn't have been bad. Aside from that, I mean, generally I'd like to shove this in, but I don't have too much wave clear, so I guess we'll just keep freezing. And if they were to base, then we would just turn it into slow push. It's probably gonna just, gonna just turn into a slow push anyway now. Yeah. Here we go. You starting the Drake. We just need to be in position to help if necessary, but hopefully we won't have to, because that'll mean losing farm during the slow push. Those trapped in darkness need light the most. Okay, let's just halt again. She might have got a honey fruit or something. This is also healthy. Oh. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, can't reach. Yeah, bless no hook. We can go aggressive now. This basically has no presence in the lane whatsoever now. One more auto will kill her. Oh, I fucked it up. I should have been able to get in range, obviously. Okay, let's not take her too long. Okay, at the very least, she's going to be forced to miss XP here. Well, I'm going to hold on to my Q in case I need her to burst her down if she does return. Such as now. That's fine. There we go. Should hopefully be able to go Blitz now as well. Okay, I got my Static Shove now. Boom. Got him so fast. Yeah, that was, um... Manager has a proc landing at the same time as my Q. It's a lot of burst. We don't need an auto attack to add on to that. Just the Q. I guess we can just go for this. I said we also leave this wave, though, so hopefully Swain doesn't use any of his AoE on that. 
Just throwing a Q just in case we might happen to need it. more HP in case we get ganked with their jungler again. Talia. Yeah, we'll do Navori again this game, and I think uh, we'll test out the Ginsu's next time we're facing a tank comp. Just so you can see what kind of DPS it brings, but I wouldn't say their comp is tanky enough to warrant it this game. Okay, so we just slow push, and then we pretty much should probably look to base immediately off there. Once uh, the slow push eventually crashes, because I already have enough gold for static shiv. I might just have to crash this wave, though. Now this one started pushing. Yeah, we'll just do it. I don't want to end up with a half crash like before, and I think that's what this would result in. You can see we, even without Swin's help here, we're actually pushing this very fast anyway, so... There's very little downside to this, I'm just gonna base immediately. Alright, we'll prioritize the long side here, because this will also give me the flexibility later to decide whether I want Swifties or Berserkers, depending on what the items I can get alongside either one. If, like, if I can get a BF sword, if I go Swifties, then obviously I would rather go Swifties if it if, BF, if uh, Berserkers would deny me the BF sword. As an example. Nope. Gotta be very f careful about my aggression here. Be good. Callista has no mana anyway. Just go straight onto Callista. Hmm, okay. I have to go Bliss instead then. Nice one. One missed over there if I can snipe it. Oh, no, okay. Ah, damn it. I should have tried to snipe. Gonna make sure I'm around for the platings. Or kind of swing to make sure he was also around to text them. <laughs> yeah, let's back off. Looks like we get the episode regardless of what boots we're going for. We just can't. Build towards our boots yet. Okay, we're gonna have to go straight boss since they're shoving that in pretty fast. That wasn't a cold start, Callista, was it? That seems really bad. Callista should be playing so aggressively in the early game that you absolutely want the Durance Blade over Cole. If life is my curse, living is the oh. Look at that trade though. Ooh, on the crit. I, could, I should have actually kept on going aggressive there actually. With my ultimate I never die and I have the burst killer very fast. For now, we can just keep going aggressive 1v2, I guess. There's a jungler again, Talia. Oh, she must be AFK, surely, right? Look at her HP, or another HP, her levels. Oop. Oh no, I thought she would run up there. Alright, let's not get hooked under turret there. Getting ganked by this guy now. 
Yeah, Talia's AFK. We have enough vision of their jungle that we would have seen her by now. Gonna mostly stay out of sight until I see her real soul. Okay, there we go. Try and snipe Kalista now. Just too fast. If I had a static shift proc there at the same time and it actually hit her, should have been dead to that. I think I'm fine here. Yep. Not bad. We should be able to keep on pushing here. At least give a turret. Nice one. Alright, so I think we could just go Berserkers here. Doesn't really change anything about our base. Again, though, I think Swifties are fine no matter what, though. It's just Berserkers feel nice. I prefer building Berserkers if possible. He's fine. Oh, by the way, the Raptors actually. Static shot by itself is not enough wave clear. Why do I have ult? Yeah, at least everyone else still dies either way. Remember to heal up your allies. And we can leave all the farm to Vagar. He gets his Q stacks, I get my miss stacks. Nice. Ugh. So we're taking up a shot. Oh my god, that was a big tour shot though. Jesus. Uh, I still don't want to bother with the Raptors. I'll take so much damage for that. I do just want to make sure Vega doesn't die to the Raptor. <laughs> Even if it risked potentially stealing the Raptors. Nice one. Mm, no, damn it. I thought these minions would be under turret. I lose half my HP every time I take a turret shot, bro. Alright, we have Navora next base. Nice one. Could just stop by the red buff, I think this is a smart idea. Before we base. They should be probably FFing at any point soon. This game is not very interesting as a 5v4. Would have even preferred if it was my jungler that AFK'd. I wonder why she AFK'd. She didn't die. Seems unlikely it would be a rage quit, but who knows. People rage quit for very, very weird reasons sometimes. Maybe she was already getting flame ball three lanes because of no ganks at level three. She didn't get a leash. Remember, you don't want to spam Q too much here, even though I could, just because I don't have much mana. If I had blue buff, it would be fine. If I had tier, it would be fine. But whatever. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back. For another episode. Or another game. Video, whatever. Send it to Diamond. 
Hmm. This could be decent. I've exhausted up in case Quinn tries to flash on Sheikah. There we go. We'll switch on to Quinn now. Should be able to get her overall in the end so long as I land my W. My W will be a lot of damage. There we go. I can that brush? No, he's there. We'll just walk close to this XP before we pick up this. There we go. Just make sure we get all the XP. Alright, that was a weird start. But, oh god, it works out. What is actually lower cooldown early game? I guess it's fairly similar cooldowns when you account for the... QCR on hits. Could probably get closer to winning a fight with uh, Q just because it's also a heal, but... Might be able to kill Pike here? Actually, he might even be able to kill me, shit. Alright, should be fine at least. Mm, I'm getting zoned from those. Oh, oh god, she, wait, she has Ignite! What? Ah, oh, dude, I forgot. They actually have double ignite and she didn't use her ignite early on. Although she should have used it on Shaco if she flashed on him, but... Yeah, my bad. I did not consider that she might have not used ignite. <clears throat> my bad, there was no point in flashing at that point. I was obviously dead. That was a waste. Ooh, he looks in trouble there. Maybe not. Well, he lives. Ooh, Shaco, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna be fine. That's not a great hook angle. Not bad. Unfortunately, they do have a good window to just base here. get any of these lost hits because I can't predict uh, which minions my minions are going to focus it would just be so much simpler if they would just focus whatever is nearest to them ah come on alright I could do with crashing this if possible so I can base um I'll be fine. Should be fine. Nice, you got trapped right into that Shaco box. Snared into that Shaco box. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to stay for now. Oop. I'm having trouble now. Maybe a kill Quinn here? Nice, not bad. Should have actually aimed that Q at Lilia so I could get one more stack, but it will. Okay, hopefully this wave ends up crashing into their turret. Nah, it's not going to. The next wave is far too close, I just realized. It's actually fairly good for me, though, if they end up shoving this instead of just leaving it frozen. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. Nice. They're undoing the freeze. So because uh, my wave was intact while their wave was obviously already focusing the previous wave, their minions already lined up and just end up killing that first melee faster than my minions kill their first melee. Plus their next wave comes in sooner, Quinn comes in sooner to start pushing. I guess she didn't really miss out on too much, she missed, on, missed out on 3CS while I also missed out on 3CS. Turns out to be about even, but it could have been really favorable towards her. Wait, what the- wait, what was I pathing there? What? Huh? How did that happen? Yeah, path down there, then what happened? What? Oh, dude, I must. Did I. I must have accidentally clicked on Lilia, then when Lilia recalled it, pathed me towards their base? Huh. Weird. Don't think it cost me too much, at least. I definitely didn't run into their base, anyway. <laughs> oh, what? There we go. Nice. Goddamn tired of all these things dodging my cues, bro.
Oh boy. She could not have the kill? I'll be fine. Oh, Jesus, my bad. Way overstepped there. <laughs> Trying to get two different Miss procs off of the queue. He definitely didn't need to flash though, it's just whoever extended up. My only thought process there was, oh, he's got no queue, I'm safe. But obviously, he can just engage with E. If I'm gonna step that far forwards, which absolutely I should not. Overall, it's not the greatest matchup because, again, we are facing hard engage. But uh, it's mostly just down to Lily Gank so far. They're, once again, just like the previous lane, they are misplaying the 2v2 is pretty bad. It's just the Lily Ganks that keep getting us into trouble. Obviously, me there was just misplaying in the 1v2, but why was I 1v2? Oh, yeah, because the Lily Gank <laughs> killed my support. <laughs> Click the minion. Alright, we still got that at least. Oh my god, so much mist. Nice. We did a lot of damage there. <coughs> Gotta make sure I'm not too overextended here because he could be charging a hook over the wall. We see Lily at topside though, so we know we're safe in that regard. I'm fine, he's gonna flash this time. Hmm, didn't hit him. Wait, I don't have mana for ult. That is awkward. I should have exhausted Quinn as well, I guess. Damn, I was actually thinking I would have a kill there. I do still have a chance at uh, killing Queen of Shippers in Vision again, though. She would die only to my ult. Oh, wow. Wait, she tried to flank. What the hell? <laughs> nice one. Alright, we gotta leave. As much as I would love to pick up a mist and also go for the plating, um, we could easily get ganked by Fizz here. Oh, oh he's got level 6 now. Sheesh. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Actually. Got him. Just leave that wave though. Hopefully it still pushes towards us. Either way, it shouldn't be the big difference. I just need Shaco to leave with me. Do not shove in the wave. Nice, I have just enough for static shift. And we just got boots too. Perfect. With any luck, that cannon ends up surviving. But I doubt it. It's probably going to run into a Shaco box. Yeah, he should not have been placing boxes, even. Oh well. It's only a cannon. Only a cannon. Just a tiny little most lucrative minion in the game. Okay, nice. We'll just disregard that minion to force a good trade here. This time we leave the Q slow until lost, because we know we can get in range for it, and we don't want to waste that while she's rooted anyway. We want to save it until we actually want to chase her down again. Nice one. I wasn't expecting that to lead to a kill, I was only trying to force a good trade, but... Yeah, absolutely. The, basically, my idea there from the start was, uh, once I'm down to this lost caster, I'll just throw my W onto Quinn and we'll see if it lands. We'll start already start chasing before we've seen if it lands. And if it does land, then we'll just disregard the minion entirely and just keep chasing for the trade. Nice. Even if I got hit there, I was fine. I wasn't gonna die. Unless I got ganked, which I am being ganked. Ooh. Actually, uh, there's too many people here. Oh, I'm probably dead. 
No. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, at least he died to a Shaco box, apparently. Nice. Damn, that was a close one, though. Yeah, my bad. Too many people there. <clears throat> oh, oh, is Lilia E that killed me? Ah, would have been fine, actually, I guess. I thought it must have been something that Fizz did that killed me through my through my exhaust, but no. He wouldn't have had the damage to kill me. It was Lilia E. It wasn't even me that it hit, it was just minions. That's why I didn't even see it. It didn't even come quite that close to me for me to pay attention to it. Disregard the minions, go straight up or trade on Twin. Shall start channeling ult while I know it's gonna land. Because she's rooted. Ah, oh, damn. Wasn't as good a force trade though as I could have had if. I couldn't just go invisible. Hello, not again. How many times are we gonna get ganked, man? I can't kill. This is absurd, man, this level of camp. And she just managed to not get hit by those. Until the end, at least. Now she is. There we go. Not too bad. Favorable for us in the end. But I would have preferred if she managed to run into that. Yeah, this looks much better. It's much more unlikely that she will, like, just happen to pass through here compared to passing, uh, like, next to the wall. How's Alistar doing? He's not doing too bad. Doesn't have a CS lead, but he has three, one, and two. Playing AP Alistar on the top lane. Could sort of see why it would work. At least in a matchup like this. Set so wants to stick to his targets. Alistar makes that impossible. Alistar just gets a good trade and walks away. Oh god. Wait, I need to get out. Oh, come on! No, oh, damn it. My bad. At least he should die. Yeah. Yeah, you can see just how easy it is to actually force a lens onto Senna if you play well enough. I'm not tanky enough to survive these, not mobile enough to avoid them. I just overstep and I die. Get a quick look for now. Mm, I think realistically, if I had just used Q and E and nothing else, no auto attacks or anything, not even W, I think I might have actually been fine. May well, maybe W could have also helped, but I think at the very least, if I just Q immediately for the heal and the movement speed boost from also parking fleet with that. And then just use E to, as well to like help close the gap and try and get away from them before they can get vision on me, then I might have actually been fine. I do have Shaco with me this time, so I don't feel as scared walking forwards. I don't think the same thing will just happen again. When I got Shaco with me, I mainly just need to be worried about ganks. Oh, that was really bad though. At least I'm gonna live. And here comes Lilia. Wait, she's going straight for me. Okay, that's one kill. Nice one. <laughs> Gotta shake a box. Got him, let's go. That was huge. I, I was blind for most of that, but... Worked out. Yeah, I, feel, I can't say I've ever thought about, like, playing Senna with Shaco support before, but it feels like a decent enough duo. It's working pretty well. Even from behind. Or not really behind, but I'm obviously not really ahead either, am I? Oh, 
But he seems to be pretty effective at decentivizing their engages so long as he's in lane. Please don't cut some of base. Nice. He might have just been over that wall. He might not even have had the vision of me, even though I knew he was around. Yeah, Lily mid, but I have no idea where Quinn is. I've always got to worry about the fact that she could just hold on to me. Oop, this should be good though. Oh, yeah, I couldn't avoid that. <laughs> I tried my best, but obviously couldn't dodge that to the right, so I have to just try and go to the left and get deeper into trouble. It's my only chance. <clears throat> Well, at least I should correct myself. At least into engage lanes, the Shaco Senna combo feels good. Might be a little bit more useless if I was actually facing like an Enchanter lane. Enchanter or Mage. So the fact that Pike has to go deep into potential boxes if he wants to do anything in this lane, that makes it good for us. Same for Quinn, even like even her eek puts her in potential risk of boxes. As well as just traveling around with her ultimate as she found out during that one death she had. Where she tried to flank. Damn. Oh, I actually hit her. Nice one. Back onto Quinn. Oh. The hell? Oh, okay. I thought that was a hammer dingery. I was like, I thought we weren't playing against them anymore. Oof. Nice. I'll exhaust them just in case. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oof. Actually, almost got me. I might still die to her. Thank god she doesn't have ult, that's all I can say. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to catch her, but maybe Ringer can. Nice. Ah, I tried to snipe the turret through that minion, but whatever. That's worth it. I actually gained more HP than I lost from that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well now I'm dead. I didn't expect the flash. Okay, we can try Novori with Collector now. Is that let the into Collector fall good? Still not overcapping on crit. Yeah, we get the increased ability damage from Novori so early on. Oh my god, his damage. <laughs> and nice thing about Alistair, by the way, is his E, uh, even though the initial hit only does like 10 damage, it does technically count as a damage proc. So he can't even proc Electrocute before even auto attacking with a WQE combo. <clears throat> I believe the Electrocute is what finished off Pike there. Sorry, buddy, I probably could have just let him have the last set, then I could just settle for. Missed. Nice. I was thinking a bit of a risk there. Wait, what? What is he doing? What the hell? 
How is he winning this? This looks dumb as hell. But it's playing out not dumb as hell. Oh, I didn't notice the Mistar could have had that. I'll let everybody else get this farm. Alright. I could do with getting this blue so I can spam Q. Especially now that I've got no worry, because it gives me such a low Q cooldown. Maybe after this game we'll try tier into Novori. Oh my god. I hardly need a tool tier, really. Uh, we shouldn't really be in their base, but who knows, maybe we just get random kills. Or maybe we just randomly get killed, which really should have been more likely. Kind of bad. Oh my god. Uh, I probably should have exhausted her because it might have stood a chance of saving my teammate, but whatever. Let's get out now. I'm out of here. Oh man, this looks so good for Shaco's build. Imperial Mandate, not being a mythic anymore. Wonder what his win rate is. Pretty good. Wow, yeah, very good. You can see why Shaco support either got or is getting nerfed one or the other. Nice. Okay, I currently got 100% crit. God, that's a lot of mist. Lot here. Damn. He's dead. Oh, hello. Jesus, I <laughs> didn't notice him. Nice. Not advise pushing mid. What should we be doing? Well, next objective up is going to be Drake, so we'll just take this wave. Oh, Fizz. I just set up the Drake. <clears throat> Won't bother going for the wave. Won't take too long to get there and back. Can't just shove in a wave now though. Probably shouldn't have used D for it though. I would like to save that as a defensive tool in case somebody does gank me even though I don't think it's likely. Oh. I need help here. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, I was gonna flash through, but <laughs> never mind. She does a lot of damage. Actually, even the Z applies both Mandate and Landry's. That's kind of crazy. Alright, I'm out of here. We can do the 
zeal towards Renan's again. <clears throat> Keep testing that out. It's enough to hear Lucian say my, name. my farm is actually pretty bad this game. It's fine to have a bad farm though, Mansana. Generally, typically means you're getting more missed as a result. Just as long as the farm is at least going to your allies. Every time I miss a cannon, it's also a free miss, too. You can do this. Tim? See if I snipe this? Oh, I didn't. We're just gonna ignore that though. Keep on doing the Baron. Nice. Alright, uh, if the mid lane inhib was still down, I would have pushed up, but actually, since the mid lane inhib came back up, we can just go here. Oh my god. Damn it, Mike, you targeted the wrong thing though, she should have been dead there. Oof. That's one Shaco. Look at these. Oh, actually it might not have been that it targeted the wrong thing. She might it might just have missed her because she's so fast. At least that's at that time is what happened. Oh. Nice time for the minions to spawn. Let's seal up my allies, actually. Faded. Also had exhaust if needed, but wasn't really ever going to be needed, I don't think. Maybe if he hard committed onto me. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna the Diamond. This game gonna be playing Senna Lux into Kaisa Nico. Well enough my support actually wanted to play Nico, but what are the odds? The enemies actually picked her. Tragic tale. At least I could have missed out of that. Alright, good. A solid start. I'm using my rage advantage over Kaisa. I'm just click that, but again, I get a mist out of it. We only take wins here. I'm gonna just walk up the Kaisa and trade over now since we have Q up. And early trading is not that amazing without Tail Blades. Hmm, Jazzy. Ow. Okay, they oh, she's actually level 2. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. She was not supposed to be level 2. Do they have Ignite? They don't. Didn't consider what summoner I should have used, but I think Ghost will be fine. Ooh. If that W lands, nice. I was gonna say that would be a kill. And I don't have to turret die for the mist. Oh god, there's a lot of mist here. I'm gonna prioritize it over the last hits because I don't know when it's disappearing. It lasts for like, what, 8 seconds I wanna say? Alright, um, I'm just considering going for that plating there. You know what, we should stay, both because we can get this plating, and also just because that Kai'Sa is so incredibly low. It feels like a wasted just base when she is so under pressure, and now, wow, apparently Nico's just extremely low all of a sudden as well. Alright, so she's trying to harass me there so, to get me off of the plating. That's the point at which I switch away from the plating and just start hitting Kai'Sa instead, because I don't want to take free damage, trying to greed for the plating. When I can just go for a good trade when she's going out of her way to force the trade. 
And then just continue going for the plating afterwards, even if it meant waiting until the next wave. I imagine Kaiser probably wants to base now. If she's actually basing, then I will base. Nice. Ooh, this Nunu. I was considering pathing towards there, but I thought it's necessary. Oh, little did I know. And I took the greedy pathing into base. How hard would it have been to just like walk here and recall? <laughs> Crazy though that Deco um, took that pathing, which was incredibly unlikely to work out, and it just did. Bro predicted Nuno -no being lazy. Yeah, this is probably too much mana for even trying to get those loss sets. I think the Q is maybe fine, but I've been using W. Although, I'm, hmm, I mean, W is only 50 mana. If anything, it would be the Q that's the issue. I guess it's fine. So I got plenty of mana anyway. Okay, so we could try Dust Blade this game. Damn. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello, Nico. Trying to squeeze out as much damage as possible. That's some extra mist from Nico. Where's the cannon, but whatever, we just get missed, whatever. I don't care. Ow. I actually hit Kaisa. And he's very kindly parted ways for me there. Ooh, I was trying to I was trying to get my kill off cooldown by hitting the minions there. So we could snipe Kaisa, but it wasn't and didn't end up being necessary. Oh, I really wanted to hard dive that missed there, but it would be stupid. Alright, we got plenty of platings there, let's space. there. Nothing escapes my eye on the map. Except jungle ganks. That happens quite often, but wards never. Gotta get those plus five golds. Oh, is Kaisa currently mid? Or is that Nico? Oh, it's gotta be Kaisa, right? I don't know what she's currently doing mid. Got her a kill, or an assist at least, but... She's gonna miss out on a full wave bot lane here with this freeze. Or should do. So Katarina's pinging us because she's like, what the hell, guys? Your ADC is... your opponent's ADC is mid, why aren't you pushing bot? Thing is, if we were to start pushing bot, we would just hand over a free wave instead of denying a full wave. We could only start pushing to punish her roam if we saw her roaming, which we did not, which is why she roamed. Because we did not have vision. Or at least why the roam worked, anyway. So in other words, if we don't have vision of the roam, we can't punish it in any way except freezing. 
trying to push after the fact is just handing them over free farm. We like to punish at that point. By the time I'm done here, dying will be the easy part. Okay, Kaisa is trading here when she should not be. I was trying to hit them both. While well, they were both rooted. Okay, not too bad. And that did mess up slightly with the ultimate. And my primary target that I needed to at the very least hit should have been Kaisa. At least she died anyway. Despite my mistake. See if we can crash this in time with that help from Lux. I think we can. I'm sure we can. Alright, we'll just hold Nuna with the Drake instead of making sure that crashes or going for the plating or anything like that. Alright, I'm just gonna start basing now, I think. Yeah, I think Plastic can't wave, so hopefully I won't miss out on that. Oh, actually, if we're getting a gank, we can just follow that up. Oh, I can be using E as well to get him to position faster. Nice one. What is he doing there? It's probably going to be too late for me to do anything by the time I get there, so I'm just going to continue pushing. What the hell? How did he end up there? Ah, he ends up getting away though. It is what it is. Let's finally base then. Oh boy. Damn, he's just really tanky, so there's not a whole lot to do here. We're gonna have to end up dropping a wave. At this point, I would feel ridiculous continuing to stay when I'm sitting on 1600 gold. Let's go for the Swifty since it's the only boost we can afford right now. Either way, we're going to be doing Lethality this game because I want to test the Dust Blade. Uh, we can also do Tear as one of our next components. Try that out. Ooh. Oh well. Damn, my attack speed still feels really high for Senna. Even without using Berserkers. I did, by the way, switch over to the attack speed shard. I think the AD shard is probably better, but man, it just feels so much smoother to have attack speed always. No matter the champion. I can't tell if that's the real one. Okay, I would have... <laughs> I actually was thinking, man, should I ult that? Is that the real one? Is that the clone? But it didn't turn out to be necessary. Good thing I didn't know it was the clone. Or it was the real one. Alright, I'm out of here. Yeah, so we could afford Sword of Dirk, but I think it's just going to make more sense to do Tear and Double Long Sword. Sitting on two potions as well. <coughs> we absolutely do not do Mana Moon second item here, though. We would only do that if we already had a lot of stacks from building early tier, which I don't think is worth the length static shift for. Oh wait, what the hell? I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> is she gonna get rid of it? She is, so we can ult for the free hit. Always wanna wait for your ally CC before using abilities like that. 
which aren't guaranteed hits. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I even managed to heal Nunu there, which was my primary objective, but the outcome is the same, hopefully. Okay, I guess here I'm gonna base when I've got enough for Sweated Dirk and Caulfields at the same time, which, come to think of it, I think I can afford now. But we will shove one more wave in the process. While we're here, there's no point in not shoving this kind of wave. There we go. But we're not doing Eclipse, we are doing Dustblade. <clears throat> I think that's a dead Nunu. Yep, I'm sad. I just like Katarina have all the farm and I get more mist. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Thought somebody might have been recalling behind the turret. <laughs> uh, I can't path through there. That would be way too gritty. Yeah, sure. It would take, uh, like, five seconds to even be able to start hitting that wave. So instead of shoving the wave first and then... Go for the objective, we'll just go straight for the objective. More time efficient. Only sad thing is if Katarina starts showing that. Okay. I can start rotating now though. Even if Katarina takes the farm, I at least want to be around to at least get the uh missed. Oh god, what the hell? That is so much damage. Jesus, that's a lot of damage taken from skill shots. Oh he just sculpted his trajectory right at the very end. That sucks. He went from pathing a straight line to suddenly pathing a little bit up. I'm still in that direction, but not enough to get hit. Bit sad. Well, if I hadn't been healing him, he'd be dead right now. Ooh, I should go bot. Big way farming up there. About to crash. We'll use E just to rotate faster. It gives you a lot of move speed. We're also not expecting to get ambushed here, so we won't need it defensively. Alright, so they get the turret and the objective bounty. It's not a huge deal, though, because nobody got the local gold. The most important thing is that I get the majority of that wave. And that also gets me Dustblade. My god, that's so much missed. And there's a guy zoning me from the mall. God damn it. We got one kill. Let's use ghost to get the others. Oh. No, no, no. Ah, what's the point? Wow, wait, he he followed me into like lack of vision. What the hell? Unless they had a ward there, in which case, fair enough. But okay, yeah, my bad. I didn't even expect to get hit by like a. Full hemorrhage from Darius if I got hit by a Q. Should have just flushed that if I wanted to. Because I think if I flashed the Darius Q, I think it would have been fine. 
Even without the hemorrhage, I was screwed there with uh, Echo showing up as well. Alright, now we can start to upgrade the Minimum. I would definitely not recommend delaying it any further than this. Even though we don't have full stacks yet, uh, we will be approaching full stacks before we would um, complete Meta Moon if we delayed it for another item. And it already it already is like fairly cost efficient after you know like so many stacks. We're getting there, just from all the AD. Yeah, I hit her. What's going on there? Hmm. Oh, hello! I am very dead here. Well, that is unfortunate. I can try and hope to buy myself some time and do some damage in return, but... Yeah, nothing to do there. Damn, my bad. Should that have been obvious to me? Let me see. I'm just trying to see if I can see on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's four costers there. I didn't even notice. She was actually there while uh, this whole thing was going on. So crazy how I just don't question a minion walking over to me because AI is so fucked. <laughs> minion AI, not the, you know, real life AI that I was just watching a video about. That's as rig as possible. Or I can just go straight bot if they're not starting it. Because I don't really think we can start this. What we should be doing is... Um, hang around the trundle split push. So, it's tr so somebody's going to have to try and respond to trundle here. And he seems like he's pretty ahead. So yeah. They have to send multiple people for him. And now we can start the drake. Just going to use W. Make sure I'm hopefully not face checking with anything there. She's still all late, you're kidding me. What? Oh god. I might be dead here. Maybe. Jesus, man. Well, that sucks. We have a Nunu of all things. I think he had smite up as well. I think he just... Yeah, he missed She's still at 1500. Kamaki does not do 1500 HP. Damage. He just panicked. Oh well. It's a little bit risky, but we do have Nuno on the boss side giving me vision there. I have to get out of her range after using... ...or getting hit by her W. So we just take a short trade and immediately use E and just start walking away. We cannot afford to get rid of it, just in case she ever ends up getting help. It's very unlikely she'd still come away there, but... Oh my god, didn't expect him to do that. Yeah, nice. Oh my god, that was a lot of gold. Got her. Wow, another big shutdown. Yeah, let's go straight for the Baron, I guess. I'm just gonna show this first, though. There we go, Static Chef. Let's do it. Oh my, I have all of a sudden just far too much gold. Oh, 
Nice one. I can base. Okay, what now? Could do Lord Dominix if we really want to deal max damage to Darius, but on the other hand, I feel like it'll be fun to see how much damage we deal with Collector onto everybody who isn't Darius. Yeah, I knew, I knew she would just predict me walking backwards, which is why I just kept walking forwards onto Darius there. Because only a madman would walk forwards, hence it being unpredictable. Oh, uh, goodbye, Kaisa. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I'm in so much trouble now, aren't I? Maybe if I ghost. Oh, come on. Ah, that sucks. Oh, I was very alone there. I didn't expect to get into so much trouble for chasing Kaiser here, which looked like a free kill, but I didn't have Echo. I, had an, I didn't have vision of Echo in the river, so that was a bit of an unexpected pincer. Anywho, we got an inhib, that's cool. I feel like she should have left that dagger, shouldn't she? Wait, what? Wait, is he actually gonna end? Oh my god, he might actually end. I hope not, that would be boring. Oh, he's not even gonna try and end, you pussy. I mean, don't do it, but pussy. Uh, I guess I want base. Uh, ra rather, I want sell my Darren's Blade for Collector. I'll just get red buff and base. Only two miss for that, really. This is absolutely not the most efficient Dara Shredding build, but it does the job. Oh, that gave me a lot of mana moon stacks as well. I just noticed I'm a lot closer now than I was before that fight. <clears throat> oh, I missed. Damn. Should have blue trinketed it, actually. Nope. Okay, nice. Thankfully I don't get screwed over by failing to kill her. And I'm about to complete Meta Moon in just two more autos. Or at least two charges. There we go. I got a DNA over there. Well, I might be in trouble here. Maybe not. I'm faster than you. Gotcha. Too slow to even enter his shield thing. Let's go healer. Look at that, that's two autos, literally two autos. Yeah, we skill hard as hell. Well, that dust blade didn't feel too different from Yomas, honestly. They both feel decent. I just don't know if they're better than Navori. GG. Alright gamers, we are back. 
for another game of Sun at the Diamond. I'm not sure what the skill here. I guess we'll skill W. W sounds good. Okay, that did not do anything. That was shit. I should have leveled Q. We could be in a good spot here, though. Just go on Pike while he's isolated. Boom. No, that missed for now. We can probably go Pantheon. Alright, I made a huge mistake of flashing before I threw W, and I missed because I suck. Uh, and I missed the miss for nothing. Oh well. I <laughs> get it. Missed the mist. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be playing Senna Amumu into Jinx Pike. Jinx running TP for some reason. And starting Doran Sh what, what kind of a pussy player is this, bro? Yeah, Jinx Pike. Boy, the Momo. Should be an okay matchup, I guess. Not exactly like um, the kind of desired matchup for Senna where you can trade heavily against like an Enchanter support that never be all end. But we do have an Amumu who can peel us, hopefully quite effectively if he plays well. Sorry, buddy. And we don't have... Well, the enemies don't have much follow-up. Because it's just Jinx, who would be following up a Pike Engage. <clears throat> you see how Jinx didn't hit me back there? Like, that's... Really the big issue with Loyola supports in lane, why I can just beat them so easily. And basically, if you're on this elo, it's the mistake you're making as well. Like, if somebody walks up to you and hits you, you know, hit them back. It's stupid that I can get two auto attacks on her and she doesn't hit me back. It doesn't matter if you're, like, going for a lost hit. It doesn't matter if the minion is literally about to die. And you're gonna miss the lost hit if you trade back. It doesn't matter. Hit them back anyway. And I'm having trouble here. We'll see. Should be fine. Figured he wouldn't flash there. He was too close to the turret. Oh, yeah, we can definitely call Pike again. Uh, okay, she's way overstepped, though. We can also definitely kill her. I should have really flashed that. Okay, we should be able to live here. I really should have flashed the pike cook. That was just far too much damage. Um, what an awkward spot here. And I could try and... We got you, buddy. Let me just get that missed. But yeah, how am I going to shove this in? This is awkward. We're not really going to be able to is the answer. Um, nice, I got that. Oh god, he nearly died. That's crazy. Is she going to try and dive now? Guess not. Yeah, so obviously I'm a bit lower HP than her. Quite a bit lower HP than her. But she doesn't have the tools to kill me, so I can still trade here. Basically, what we're going to be... Appro our approach here is going to be, since we can't shove it in, we just wait for her to shove these waves in. I can get hit by that, that's fine. Nice one. Alright, we have to base now. I'm going to pick this up first, though. We have to choose a time to base. If she crashes this really fast, I may actually cancel my base and soak this up. So far, she's not using rockets, though. Mm, I'm taking a gamble here. Oh, Pike is in the lane. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna miss out on that then. Sucks. Uh, okay, let's just try a Nunk River first item instead of... Her chase this time. But yeah, if um, Pike hadn't... Well, if I had known sooner that Pike was gonna show up, and obviously he's got the... shoulder guards to shove in that wave really fast. If I had seen that coming sooner, I would have just stayed, so I can soak up the cannon wave under... Turret, so the wave that I give up, since I'm gonna have to give up a wave no matter what. I'd rather it not be a cannon wave, I'd rather get that cannon, right? Uh, the idea behind me actually basing, despite there being a cannon wave, was I was hoping Jinx wouldn't be able to crash it in time, which is ambitious, even if she doesn't use her rockets. She still got a lot of attack speed to wave clear with, but I was just hoping it would work out. Because if she didn't manage to crash it in time, that would be a worn circumstance in which I did not have to give up a whole wave, so it was a bit of a gamble. Didn't pay off this time. Where is Pike? I cannot. So, the reason, obviously, why I would much rather be facing enchanters is, for example, right now, I would love to just walk up to Jinx and hit her. It would be a good trade, even if it was like a negative trade or a slightly, like, just basically perfectly even trade. Still worth it. Hella worth it. But if I walk up and hit Jinx, now I can actually do it. But when the wave was in the middle, if I walk up and hit Jinx there, I get engaged on by Pike and I die. If I do it against an enchanter, nothing happens. It's a huge difference in dynamic. And it's just, Uh, we can still go for Jinx. 
Mm, okay, that sucks. I'm not gonna chase that. Unless there's actually gonna be a fight. Because I can fight, but I can't chase. I wouldn't do anything in a chase. Considering I'm already too far away. And Pike is so slippery. But yeah, basically the dynamics behind an Enchanter versus Enchanter matchup or anything that plays out like that is just much more favorable to Senna who wants to stack Mist off of trades than playing against an engaged support is. Particularly one as slippery as Pike and as aggressive as Pike. Oh, that didn't end well. Should hopefully be able to crash this in time before I get ganked by anybody. If I do get ganked, I would hope not. Okay, we got two missed and should be able to base here. Oh man, the Pantheon already has four kills. Here we go for Jinx. I would rather not hit Pike at all, because it's just time that I could spend hitting Jinx, who we don't want to risk missing out on the kill for. Looks like in the end, Pike, so Pike should have 100% just left Jinx to die, because now he's just gonna die as well. If he had just abandoned her, she would have died for sure, but you can't change that, and I was just dying with her for no reason. Okay, so if I were to pick up one wave into plating. That would be enough for... My static shiv. So let's see if I can pick up that plating. There we go. Let's see if I can get away with this. If they cancel my base... Yeah, okay, I can't base then. Because as much as I would like to base... I'm not, like, desperate to base here. I've got plenty of mana, plenty of HP. Nice. Oh, got to back off here. He's going to try and engage, I think, so I need to E away. Nice. Yeah, so I'm still in a, like, winning position here, I would say, because if you look at Jinx's components, they're much better than the items I have in my inventory. So as soon as this uh, gank threat disappears, I will have Pryo over the lane again, and I can use that to shove it in and then base. I would only really want to drop a wave uh, in exchange for basing faster. If the value of the items that I can buy are like so huge that I want to get it ASAP so I can start abusing that advantage ASAP. Or if I am actually behind so I, I, I don't have the ability to get prio, at least until I base. Like if I'm sitting on no HP, no mana, there's no chance I'm going to get prio in the immediate future. So I'm not going to greed, I'm just going to drop a wave in base. Do we see... Yeah, everybody's mid. So you can see now I'm just going to be able to base really fast. And Static Shiv is not like a huge power spike that I should try and get ASAP, so it wasn't worth dropping a wave for. We can just shove in this wave now and get that without dropping a wave. Damn it. Whatever. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a pretty good base for just doing an early-ish tier after my Static Shiv. Because it can't get Swifties, can't get Berserkers, can't get BF Sword or anything like that. So we can just get the Static Shiv and the Tear. Since we do have gold left over after the Static Shiv. Ooh, I thought that would hit that. Maybe I can just go for Jinx here. I need to start with Q so I can slow her. Uh oh, hello. Okay, that could be problematic. Let's see. Oh, she started moving at the same moment. All right, I need the Ghost. Pike doesn't have ult, actually. I'm going to prioritize Jinx here. Nice. Okay, I got no kills there, but that's fine. Just happy to be alive and having won the fight. Didn't 
play it perfectly for sure though. I'm uh, just gonna go bailed out by Omumu showing up, which uh, I didn't I wasn't paying attention to the map, I didn't know it was gonna come. I think if I for example if I didn't have a Mumu nearby, I probably should have just flashed the Pike Q. I'm just lucky that it worked out for me. But I think the the idea behind the chase, I guess, was okay. Especially, like, in hindsight with the Mumu being in the area. I guess maybe it would be a lot more questionable if a Mumu was, like, say, top or something. Or even just mid. I could try and cheese her here, actually. I like this will work because it's unexpected. Because it's a perfect time for me to base. Ideally, I would have a Mumu with me for this, but... Okay. Oh. Well, even... Okay, so even if I got hit by that, that would not have dragged me under turret, so I'm not too afraid. I do have to leave, though, because I think Pantheon is on the way. No, okay, he's not. Nice one. We got that, we got that, we got that. Nice. <laughs> That's just Jinx. Okay, next time I want to trade, we'll probably both queue up. So we all attack the minions so we can get queue up. Nice, managed to not get hit by the turret there. Which sets up a very easy dive. Even if I was alone, I'm sure I would have killed her there. But it is cleaner with a moment taking aggro. Okay, Pike is in the red. Dude, this skin is like so pay to win the Pike skin. I barely hear the sound. Are you guys noticing that? Like it's it's um like this is my confirmation, because previous times when Pike was around with W, I was like, wait, Pike is around? Why didn't I hear anything? And now I just Paid attention and it's like, yeah, I can barely hear that sound, man. That's crazy. Uh, mm, kind of an awkward base timing. We'll go for Swifties since it's between Swifties and Quick Cloak here. I'd rather complete boots at this stage. We're playing a fairly immobile ADC. I'd like to get that upgraded mobility at this stage. I'm amazed that didn't hit me. It looked like it was going to. Alright, we can just shove this in and then just go ward. Oh, okay, never mind then. Uh, I'm gonna get. Okay, we're in a safe spot. Ah, missed. Okay, but we're really winning this fight though. Holy crap. This round, is it worth trying to chase him though? It is. I think? Yes! Nice one, Omumu. He's playing fairly decently. Okay, there's... This guy's not even gonna go for me. I can just position aggressively. He's gonna go, obviously, always for Omumu. If he did go for me, he would waste his cooldowns that could be used to kill Omumu, so then Omumu would back me up, so... That was... Ooh, we'll go for these first. They're gonna expire first. That was fairly ill-advised from Maokai. There was really no world where that would work out. The only chance that had of working out for him is if he goes on me, and I don't even know if... I, I, I might be able to 1v1. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh... Assuming he couldn't 1v1 me, and he went on me, or it could, sorry, could 1v1 me and went on me, then he would also need a Mumu to not realize that him using his cooldowns on me meant that a Mumu could re-engage. He'd need a Mumu to play like a pussy. It's the only world where that could end well for Maokai there. Yeah, we just need, we're just going to be going out for like 300 gold and then just basing immediately because Navarro is going to be a pretty big spike. We're already on 50% crit chance, so it's going to be at least 70% by the time we finish Navarro. It should probably just be 70%, which is already going to be a lot of extra damage on abilities from Navarro. I assume that also applies to passive, by the way. The uh, 10%. Uh, I think that's 10%. I don't know. Hang on. Can I step past these traps? Because if I can, then I might be able to kill her. Who is that Maokai? Mm. Maya should be dead here. I'm definitely dead. Damn. That sucks. Maybe we should have just kept, uh, stopped chasing. 
I did like initially assume that would be Pike when I just saw him on like the corner of my eye. And Pike is a little bit more outplayable. There's not much way to outplay that. Can't outplay the Maka root. And if I had more cooldowns, you know, well, cooldowns available, I could just like flash to the left of Jinx, right about here, like just flash like closer to her while putting distance between me and Maokai, so that I can finish her off with my burst if I'd Q up or W up, just auto Q, auto W, whatever, and then I could activate Ghost to also try and escape Maokai, so that was a possibility, but because I didn't have my cooldowns up, it is extremely unlikely that I would be able to kill Jinx fast enough to then be able to survive that situation so we don't waste summoners. We just keep those. You're already on. Ooh. Oh no. Damn. I'm just gonna collect this mist. It's not important to get the loss. I just wanna make sure I get that mist. Anybody else can take that. I don't care. Now I can't remember what I was saying. Is it about the Navori damage? Yeah. Fourteen percent. Oh, there was mist here. I didn't notice. Just gonna queue for some poke, but we need to leave. Oh no! I can't follow up heavily. I was just getting my mist there. I'm just leaving. There's absolutely oh, no chance we could win a fight there. So I'm not going to make Pike's mistake of trying too hard to save him and then just dying alongside him. Uh, I'm also... I'm going to pop Ghost here just to be safe because if Pantheon flashed up, use me, I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't have missed there, which uh, w was necessary if I wanted to position that aggressively. So that's my bad. I thought it was up. I might be able to kill Jinx there. I doubt it's got enough damage. Yeah, not quite. Maybe with Collector it would've. Or with mana, more mana. Okay, nice one. Hmm, do I survive this? I think so, because I can heal. Uh, oh, I gotta flash that. Nice one. Uh, pick up that, pick up that. I'm gonna wait for the Ignite to run out before I Q, so I can get the full healing. Nice. Should've let somebody else get that. Would've had three missed there. Oh yeah, we can just keep on healing, because we got Novori. No cooldowns. <laughs> oh. Nice one. And he lives. Nice one. Well, that was ill advised. I'm seeing so many lethality canes lately. Like lethality rusts, I mean, red canes. I wonder if it's better than lethality blue cane. Anyway, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Senna Zerath into Misfortune Lux. I probably should have angled my Q there to hit Kha'Zix, but whatever. Uh, I imagine this should be an okay matchup. It's not quite Enchanter versus Enchanter. There's a lot more kill threat coming from Lux than there is from, uh, I don't know, like fucking Janna, but... Same time, it's not quite the same as being threatened to get all in by a pike. There's a lot of trading going on in lanes like this. Now that I've uh, obviously used all my abilities on Lux, though, I obviously want to disengage from Misfortune there. I want to try and trade one for one against somebody who's got Misfortune Q to trade with. Not until I got my Q up. At the moment, though, I mean, they're because they didn't have to leash, they got a much bigger wave. I don't really want to go out of my way to trade against them. I took that trade against Misfortune. Because she had to walk forwards for that and trade against me uh, when I was fairly far away from the rest of the wave. Aside from that, I did walk forwards to force the trade. Then I saw their wave and I was like, you know what? I'm smarter than that. Let's not do that. I'm going to have to miss that. And I still get hit by that anyway. Lovely. Damn. Returning. 
I get hit by that, but that's fine. We're gonna be setting up a kill on this fortune here, I hope. Yes, nice one. Can't really get Lux, that's fine. Let's try and shove this in now. Ooh, there's a mist there, I didn't notice. Nice. I don't know, there's just something about champions like Scion, Nasus, Senna. With the whole stacking thing going on. Should I heal him? Ooh, actually he leveled up, I didn't need to. Maybe with the luck slashing on him I did. Aww, oh, but he still dies anyway, I should have not healed him. Oh well. I mean, not that it made a difference, but... Yeah, he could have just walked away. Did he actually take the kill? He did. Dude, he sacrificed himself so he could have the 300 gold. What a brave soldier. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's get out of here. So at least we still managed to get the crash in at a reasonable time. Is that next wave going to be a counter wave? It is. This is like a perfect base then. I think it was the previous game where we did the Nuncurver Rush instead of Kurtz's Shard. As you can see, I mean, it's not a huge difference, right? It's just literally what about, about what you prefer. But I think they're about equal in strength. Obviously, if you can only afford, afford Kerchase, you just go Kerchase. But if you can afford the Nuncrever, I mean, you can go Nuncrever if you want. If you don't have to. Kerchase is still good, and you just get whatever components you can get alongside Kerchase. But it is quite nice for enabling you to go for more trades, which is obviously quite nice on Senna, since you really want the trade. Not just to win the trades, but to get that missed. Not gonna look to trade right now though, cause they got a big wave. Ah, I'm out of position there. I shouldn't have walked forwards until the cannon was dead, cause I was I would obviously prioritize get the, getting the cannon over trading back to misfortune. It's not like giving up a melee or a cost there. Oh, he went to both of them and missed from both of them. Let's go. It's risky going for that, but because you obviously you're um, leaving yourself open to poke for such a long time when you're going for missed on both of them. But I mean, so long as I don't die, we know we got we know I've got plenty of sustain. Oh, this might be bad though. Oh, I do have cleanse. I forgot about. It. I should have cleansed a lot sooner. But okay, I guess it works out. I baited. I didn't have to lose so much HP, and it probably would have resulted in the same outcome, but whatever. I, I completely forgot I had cleanse, actually. Might be able to kill her if my... No. I didn't have Kerchase. <coughs> but yeah, do you probably want to run cleanse against Lux most of the time? On most ADCs? Uh, but especially if she's got a ADC like Misfortune, who really benefits from that long-range lockdown. Like, at level 6, anytime I get hit by a Lux Hue, that's also going to be a like a mis long range misfortune ult. That can kill me in combination with Lux's burst, so I don't want to deal with that, obviously. I just want to be able to escape from the cleanse. I escape from the root with cleanse. Hmm. Nah, that's probably better. Really quick cloak. Surely cannot be that good. Christiana just flamed her jungler and got a solo kill like 15 seconds later. She is fucking crazy. <laughs> she, she reports her jungler, gets a solo kill 15 seconds later, and then types that she's reporting her jungler immediately after the solo kill. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd get hit by that. At least it forces misfortune enough to get real close. Oh, we have heal. Ow. I'm taking a big risk here, turning back. Oh, nice. Never mind, just baiting, because I knew we had Shen ult. I think I might have been fine anyway, but I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I don't even have to care too much about getting lost hit, so I'm going to focus on just getting minions low. So anybody else can lost hit them, and I can just get the mist. Okay. He's, he doesn't want the lost hits, that's fine. I don't really want the base here, though, is the thing, actually, now that I think of it. I only started pushing because somebody else was pushing with me. But honestly, uh, how much do I need for Static Shiv? I need 700, 600 more gold? 
That's doable. I could stick around because I, I don't have too much HP as you can see, but... Boop. Got plenty of mana for those heals. I can definitely stick around for Static Shiv, I believe. <coughs> nice, right? Why don't she just ignores me? How do I land two hits on her and she doesn't hit back? I'm telling you guys, it is the biggest priority in lane. Hit the opponent back if they hit you. Screw everything else. They hit, they walk up to hit you, you hit them back. You don't notice and they get one free hit? Oh, that's a shame. They go for a second hit and you don't hit them back? That is unbelievably bad. I'm starting to run low mana now. That's a bit awkward. The biggest issue though is how... How to spot Zerath is in. I can't. I'm being really gritty here. I need to use E. I don't have E. Shit, I'm dead. My bad. Yeah, no, I'm basically learning movie 2 here. I can't, I can't walk up the loss hit there. I was hoping to try and snipe uh, two loss hits by sniping one of my own minions there, but I, I would have missed the cannon. There was no way I could get in range for that. And there's just no way they don't just walk up and kill me. That's annoying. I'm assuming Xerath just walked, like, went to do Drake? Yeah, and he was already low and low on mana, and then he just came back into lane, low HP and low mana, and didn't see the issue with that. <laughs> Sucks. Is this Diana schizophrenic? It's like she's having an argument with Kha'Zix, who has not said anything all game. In fact, oh, the, dude, look at our jungle, he's 6-0. How is she flaming him? Godlike. At the end, I'd be like, yeah, you're so fucking reported, man. He's still in lane, I just realized. Dude, you need the base. I'm not even sure I can shove in a wave here, because even though I have the bigger wave... Oh. Okay, I still hit her. Nice. Okay, she missed. We need to focus Misfortune. Okay, Xerath is dead here. The question is, can I get something back? I can. Even without Kha'Zix, I'm sure I would have killed Misfortune. I just don't know if I would have been able to kill Lux as well. Nice one. Uh, I could actually probably just leave this here. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure about it. Maybe if I hadn't killed that first minion. Nah, this isn't going to work anymore. Maybe I never would have. I definitely needed to decide a lot sooner if I wanted to do that. We're just going to prioritize the tier. I'm going to ping the wave back since we're playing in about bronze, silver MMR. I don't want my support to touch the wave, which he will do if I don't ping him not to. And he still does it. Oh, I actually hit her. I didn't need to walk up an auto if that W was going to land anyway. What? That went right between the two of them. Come on, Xerath. Let's walk up. Ow. Ah, still got hit anyway. Ah, uh, sad. Come on. Nice, I got a kill. Uh, should be able to win this too. Nice one. Start off with the top one, it's expiring sooner. Yeah, damn. Something you can do sometimes is like, wait and see whether Lux will use her full combo before cleansing, but... I guess that work. that's a lot more reliable if you have a dash or something. I 
thankfully they just straight up overcommitted after I already made the mistake of cleansing while still getting hit by the Lux combo. Do not just wait for- okay, no, I have to stay. At least I have Static Shift. Oh, wait. God damn it, my Static Shift wait, got wasted there. Well, I got plenty of Wave Clear anyway at this stage, I guess. That was a risk. That was, hmm. Gonna have to ult for the shield. I had to still die, my bad. That was a bit silly. I'd already decided to go for that mist before Lux even came on my screen. Yeah, look. Yeah, I was just so determined to get that. Once I started pathing towards it, I was not gonna turn around. Just because a silly mage support who can 100 to 0 me walked onto my screen. Yeah, I, I, now that it, like when you look at the still frame, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with me? How could I think that was smart? But in the moment, I swear to God, it seemed okay to just continue going for that. This is what Senna does to a person. <clears throat> they don't tell you how addicting Mist is. I don't know why they based without shoving in a wave. They should have done that. I could have missed this entire wave. I still don't gonna... No, okay, not make the miss a wave, but... My shooting is not amazing here just because I don't have Q, but... Uh, it still ended up decently. I range her a little bit, so I managed to get one extra auto attack on her. And I think that proc static shift, which is quite good at trading as well, so... It's gonna heal us up. Oh, that was clean. Dude, if I saw that Lux E juke, and then the Q snipe, and then the W snipe, all in isolation being done against me, I would be like, this on the scripting 100%. Oh, my bad. Maybe the Senna isn't scripting. Okay, nice. Uh, I don't really have to leave yet, really. Do not just wait. Guess I could serve in two waves. Which I, ideally then I should have shoved this a lot slower because it means that this wave starts moving forwards a lot later. It means I, I'm less overextended while farming the second wave. Uh, and this is why we would rather not be overextended, clearly. Oh, okay, I thought he was ulting. And I just wanted to collect mist, mist from him. What the hell? He's still doing it? I had cleanse, anyway. I'm, I, like, I'm fine no matter what. Like, what? In what world was I just gonna stand still here for him to kill me? Alright, can get one more wave. Well, so I mean, ideally I'd like two. The cannon wave might be enough, though. Yeah, with that cannon wave, I'm sure I probably can. Get this. Yeah, I can. Awesome. Since we know Fiddlesticks already wasted his ult, I don't even have to worry about doing that. Unless they both happen to flank Fiddlesticks and Lux at the same time there. It's not really a world where I die there. Yeah, these high stakes spot lanes where I just get hit by one Lux Q and I die. You can see it's not really the ideal lane for Asana. It's not bad for sure. It's not like a weakness of hers. I'd say it's an okay matchup, especially having a mid support by my side as well. But when it makes it a lot riskier that I will just die if I go for a trade, it's not perfect for Senna. You really want lanes that just incentivize trading as much as possible. It's not like you can only pick Senna in those situations. I think she's fine. Perfectly fine in a game like this as well. But she really thrives in those games against Enchanters. I could ult to save him, but... Unless it's also gonna get us a kill, I don't see the point in doing it. I'd rather save my ult for more high impact. 
So I would ult save Kha'Zix there, because it'll also help me kill Little Sticks faster, but there's no need. Well, not just about helping it kill Fiddlesticks faster, but like, for example, if somebody else were to join the fight later on, um, you know, one of the enemies, I'd obviously rather Kha'Zix be alive to help us, either help me escape or help me kill the guy. I guess I'm just top now. Wait, that, that was only going to kill him if I had my passive proc, which I didn't... I was hoping the cooldown would have ended by then, but doesn't matter. For some reason, he just stood still, so it's a kill either way. Ah, I can't get the mist. Okay, since I want to shove the second wave, I would rather the wave. Oop. Actually, should be fine here. On the same level as him, which means he's pretty behind. Ah, I should be able to cut him more effectively, though, my bad. <laughs> no way. I might have been dead if that actually didn't kill him. Holy crap. Yeah, I played that pretty bad. I should have been able to cut him more effectively. At the very least, once he was rooted, there should have been no chance of him hitting me back. Anyway, my thought process there was... I mean, it was a little bit risky, but I thought it would be fine there. Uh, since I wanted to shove the next wave, I wanted that turret to die a little bit later, so it gave more time for this... Not this wave, but the next wave coming to come closer to here. So if I farm it here compared to here, I'm a lot less overextended. The only risk of that is that in theory, obviously it uh, creates the opportunity for somebody to show up and gank me before the turret is down. And then I have to leave without getting the turret when I had a perfectly good chance to get the turret. But I thought we had enough vision to make sure that wouldn't happen. Only of course, Akshan just kind of bypasses vision. So ended up backfiring, but still ending up well, just because I played it well. But yeah, I should have thought about auction being invisible. I've just been waiting 30 gold for this minimum, by the way. I feel like it's worth it. <clears throat> this could be good. Nice. I'm not 100% sure if I need it to ult. It's just so tempting, isn't it? Alright, I'm gonna go straight over here. See, ha, I imagine if I'd save my ultimate. At least waited for me to show up so I can get missed. Hmm. Did he click the map there? That might be why he turned around there. I went to me earlier, didn't it? Oh lord. Oh, action. She still got red buff burning, so I'm gonna stay away. There we go. Ooh. Action also just wasted a Z. Nice. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm fine. He needed to hard commit onto me there, not try and go for AoE. If he wanted to kill me. If he doesn't kill me, that's probably not a good play. With Fast Cleanse, like I still had Flash in case it was really important to get away from there, but I think with cleansing and queuing for a heal, I should have probably already been fine. Because if I didn't cleanse, I would have died before I could heal myself. You see, I don't really take an extended trade there. I'm not really amazing in extended trades. Neither is Lethality Misfortune, but. Come on, come on. Oh, that was so insanely close. Oh god, I might die here. Oh, I could. Yeah, I could have healed myself. Thankfully, I survived anyway. Nice. If this selection was smart, I'm sure it would have just stealthed onto me. Oh, no, it's just... yeah. Okay. 
Okay, it's just like that. We are significantly speedier between the Swifties and the Zeal. Both just give us, I think, like 25 movement speed each or something like that. Look at this. Alright, we'll ignore the wave. Hello, Misfortune. Nice. Oh, missed. Oh. Careful, Shen. Did my sniping Senna skills are good. Damn, these games keep ending way too early to be satisfying. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna the Diamond where we're going to be playing Senna Morgana into Vera Zerath. Also, I think th there's a small chance this Vero might be scripting. I wish I wish I turned on the video sooner because that wasn't like anything I've ever seen. She... I don't know, I don't know what happened there. She, she got slowed by Yoriki and then, then suddenly there was the weirdest sequence where she would just like turn to auto attack somebody but will then keep cancelling her auto attack to run away but she did it like i want to say 10 times in a second it was absurd i can only assume that was a script trying to get her to auto attack a vital i didn't check if there was a vital there to auto attack but i can only assume it was a script trying to get her to auto attack the vital while she was trying to command her champion to just walk away we'll keep an eye on that i, I don't know like if she's only got a script to just attack vitals, it'll probably be hard to notice, but I swear to god, I don't understand what it could have been if it wasn't the script. Shame I didn't turn on the video. But I mean, what can I say, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> wasn't an invade I was part of, so it didn't seem important. Anyway. Playing Morgana against a mage, kind of a crappy matchup. I also really hate um, having Morgana into matchups where you have to run cleanse. Because on the one hand, I don't trust any Morgana player at any elo to be so on point with the spell shields that I should not run cleanse. And then if I'm running cleanse, then it just feels like a waste of time for Morgana to be on the lane, you know? Ah, missed that. Oh well. Focus on the trade. Alright, I ended up missing a lot of CS there, but at least I got a good trade and a lot of missed. Yeah, generally Morgana's good into engage supports, not so good into in, uh, mage supports like Xerath. Nice, got me to lost it. Awesome. Just gonna go for the mist. Now we might be able to crash this in time. I'm trying my hardest. I'm even intentionally giving up some lost hits. Ah, in favor of getting a foster crash. I don't think it's worked though. No, this is awful. Oh, Zerath well, the Zerath support support is TP now. I'm just gonna hope that Zerath just oh, I could tell she was gonna use W on the wave, I have to cancel my base. Yeah, I was gonna hope that Zerath would be the one to fuck up the wave and fix my wave state, but even if he was going to, Morgana was doing it as well, so the wave state would not be fixed, so I have to stay. Which puts me at risk of potentially being ganked, but... Ooh. Hopefully that doesn't happen anyway. Oh man, I was expecting it to... Oh god, I have to flash here. I was expect... Oh, I'm pretty much dead here, aren't I? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm the one with the scripting. Yeah, I was expecting it to just back off because we had the bigger wave and then the, that would buy enough room for me to get that... Uh... Missed, but... Yeah, no, he really didn't give a shit. <clears throat> And apparently he did win the extended trade. He does have lethal temp after all. By the time I'm done here, dying will be the easy part. Ooh, you know what you know what I will do if I <laughs> if I um feeling not lazy enough later on. 
I'll go into the replay file and show you exactly what the fear I did. That should work. You will know exactly what was confusing me so hard. I'll try and put it immediately after the sentence so it makes a lot more sense when you see it. I could also just forget, not just be lazy, but we'll see. Anyway, here we're just going to slow push. No point trying to crash because we are absolutely not going to crash in time to deny any farm. So the next best way to deny farm is just pushing as slowly as possible. Keeps the enemy minions alive longer, which means they do more damage, which means my minions take more damage and die faster. It would only make sense to crash here if we saw Varus like roaming mid or something, which he's obviously not gonna do. Right? Yeah, no, there he is. Ooh, hello. Let's try and get a range for the W. Boom. I should have saved my Q to um, get the proc off of Zerath, actually, my bad. Plus I used it when I was full HP. I'd be a lot healthier right now if I'd, I'd used it better. Oh man. Oh! No, Zinzao, he was too impatient. I might just be able to... Oh, okay. Never mind, I was going to... Oh, minions, minions! Damn it. This is so stupid actually going for this mist, but whatever. Okay. So close. Damn. Alright, do not touch this wave. Ideally, I would like to base on this wave. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Thankfully, she doesn't have mana, so... But don't auto-attack it either! Ah! She uses the last of more mana and screwing up my wave before she recalls. Oh, you're kidding me. He has vision. Okay, I need to save my heals until after. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Okay, unfortunate. Yeah, I needed to get out of his E zone before I heal. I should have really led with the Q, though. That was a big mistake. Because I did heal off a of fleet, but it obviously was nowhere near as big a heal as my Q heal. I'm trying to think when they would have placed a ward there. I don't recall. Doesn't mean it didn't happen though. Obviously it did happen. I'm not trying to deny reality here. They're clearly warded there. Okay. Okay, this guy's currently level up on me. Ow. I've cleansed in case I get ulted. Okay, I wonder if Ferris might be trying to base now, so I'm gonna start shoving. I still need to be chugging my potions. Ah, <sighs> come on. Morgana needs to be in a way better position here, but here, buddy. Yeah, she was way too far away from me. If, if Zerath, if sorry, if Varus tried to do anything, okay, nice. He actually died anyway. But if Varus oh, should be able to dodge these, nice. Oh wait, what? He has one more? What? He used to only have three at level six. Yeah, in theory, if Varus tried to do anything to me there, Morgana should have been in range to retaliate instead of him being able to try and kill me and then flash away without ever getting hit by Morgana. Thankfully, somehow she still got him. Ooh, 
that was a clean dodge. Okay, but if it was scripting, it would have dodged that one as well. Oh god. Gonna have to flash out of here if I wanna survive. Hmm. Don't have static shove, sucks. <clears throat> It's the days when you could sell boots for a bunch of gold. Can only sell it for 90. And that would not be enough to get me Static Shift. Thank you, Kanli Morgana, for softening this wave up for me. So there are less minions for me to have to kill when I get into lane. Okay, nice. Two missed, don't mind if I do. Oh boy, he is dead. Oh, nothing to do there. So maybe uh, I wanted to at least <laughs> try and snipe uh, Varus with my Q through Morgana. If I can just... Nice. I w so I would, I guess, be willing to drop a wave to base for Static Shiv. But I'm definitely not dropping a cannon wave. What the hell? It's so annoying how patient he's being. Not only does it make it harder for me to dodge, but uh, it also like means that I have to spend way more time focusing on juking while, instead of actually lost setting. Yeah, that was a strangely good ult from him. Almost nobody uses Earth ult like that when the enemy is full HP, but it's similar to using Kaelin ult for harasses. You know, the exact same logic, it is really good to use Earth all like that, especially when I'm under turret, really vulnerable, because either I get zoned from the entire wave, or he's catching me when he knows that I have to be throwing lost hits out, like, or, you know, auto attacks the lost hit out, during which I cannot move. Ow. Still got hit by that. Not bad, though. Okay, yeah, Varus is out of mana. Nice. Okay, we should be able to crash this. Nice one. Usually when I want to shove is exactly the time when Morganas think it's prudent not to steal my farm. Or mindlessly hit the wave. Could go for the plating, but it's just not worth it compared to just getting this recall off ASAP. And getting that static shove. Nice. Maybe I'll... Ah, but she didn't use W. Oh. No! Oh, that is so sad, man. Why didn't she use her W? I guess it must have been on cooldown. Damn, that's rough. Cancel my base just to bait my Morgana's flash. Actually, let's let's confirm that she didn't have W. So she used the W on that wave. Threw Q, missed. Gets hit by that. She didn't waste W. She queued and then just didn't throw her W because... Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she threw her Q and just didn't think it worth using W. That's so crazy. That was such a free kill if she just used it while he was rooted. I mean, I, obviously she didn't account for me old thing, you know? I, I can respect that not everybody is accounting for every factor at all times. I probably, like, would not have expected us an ult either in that situation. Because I don't have perfect awareness. But, like, why would you not just go for the free damage, though? <laughs> Weird. Ah, such a good predictor. It's a little bit risky, actually. If I get flanked by Zerth here and Zerth comes from here and my Morgana's still in base, I'd be in a lot of trouble for trying to shove that. 
is off though, and it would have been a like. It, to be fair, there's no reason why Xerath should have tried to risk uh, flanking there, considering he didn't know Morgana was where she was. But I didn't know where she was, so I shouldn't have taken the risk myself. All right, this guy's dead. <laughs> Poor guy. That was a long route. See, now she thinks it's worth using W just to steal my farm. Okay, Drake up in 50. Ah, oh, didn't heal her in time, I don't think. Okay. Can't really finish her off then. Can I? Bro. Okay, I got her. That's a bit lucky. Need to stay away from this guy. Wait, he's actually walking to over towards me. Ah, uh, missed the cannon. My bad. No! Damn it. Okay, at least I handed over the kill to Xerath. My bad, I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I wasn't counting for Varus, who should have obviously been showing up soon. Wait, how, how much gold did I have? Oh, I can do BF sword. We should obviously do BF sword. That's fine for Morgana to actually use a W there since I obviously wasn't going to get any of that. Nope. Oh, not fine for her to die though. How oh, dare you. You sucker, you should have stuck around for the local gold from the turret. Would have been worth dying. God, he's fast. Alright, since I obviously am not going to get a good chance to siege that turret with Xerath there. What I can do instead is just stay out of sight, pretend like I'm not here. Uh, I guess here's a good spot where I'm unlike- No, here. Here's a good spot where I'm unlikely to get hit by a Zathki if he does it blindly. We just wait for him to show up in the little lane. Okay, ah, damn. Okay, still wards. Yeah, I think I managed to dodge that without going out of the brush, though. But on the bright side, we do at least force his ward, which is something he would not have probably done. If I hadn't just sat in the brush. If I had just sat in plain sight, he would have not felt the need to ward, I don't think. Okay, so I can try the exact same cheese again, but in this brush. <laughs> just because there's no point staring them down. That is a tanky Pantheon build. We're gonna why? Now she forces me to leave the brush to lost it. Wait, it's gone for me? I mean, fair enough. I mean, I am in sight while well, Morgana wasn't, but... Sheesh, didn't even want to try and go for the kill. Oh boy. I'll try and ult to save him temporarily. Ah, I can't help. Let's get out of here. Hmm, that sucks. Anyway, oh, I've, I've been trying out the tier quite a few times recently, haven't I? I've, so, I don't really notice the difference, I'll be honest. There, well, it's not that I don't notice the difference, rather. It feels okay, is what I'm trying to say. Obviously, I notice the increase in mana. I don't notice any, like, decrease in damage or, like, super delayed Navori or anything. So, it feels fine. I guess I would lean towards this being my favorite. Sun build. If you're not doing DPS on anyway, if you're just going Ginsu's, it's not important. How much do I need for Navori? 150, so one wave. This is a little bit risky though, I feel like. So let's hope we're not getting ganked by Dana here. Let's hope I can actually get this wave. Close. Alright, I can base now.
I'm just starting off pathing towards mid. Oh, Morgana's gonna go for this farm. Oh, okay, I'm gonna continue pathing towards mid then. What I can do is try and hide Pantheon here. Yeah, I guess I made it a little bit harder for Yasu to react to the danger since he might have thought it was just me. I don't think Pantheon was far ahead of me. So it wouldn't have been appearing as uh, whatever the name is. Spectral. Wraith. That's it. Whoa, what the hell? Not really much to do here without. Oh, well, from my teammates, so we can just walk up here, try and sell the raptors or our vision, place vision. Ideally, we'd have our support with us. Okay. That could be good. I'm just gonna stick around for this wave, but oh god. Should I ult? So far, I'm leaning towards no, but I'll keep an eye open. Okay, we can rotate over now. Nothing else, we'll just heal up Sinzal a bit. Oh god. Oh, oh, he's just ulting out. Oh god. I'll try and heal him? Okay, since we got the heal off- Oh, damn. I was gonna say, since we got the heal off, I can also try and... Uh, use the ultimate to keep him alive even longer, but... Oh, I hit the plant. God damn it. Okay, is that. <gasps> she keeps. Do Wait, she's 100% scripting. I just realized. She dodged my EQ twice. First time it's a freak accident. Well, not even a freak accident. It, it can happen. We saw it happen earlier. But second time in a row is 100% script dodging my Q. 100%. I'm telling you, if I remember to show that uh, replay, you will see you will see it and be like, "Oh yeah, that's that's not natural. That was clearly scripting." It's just nothing else makes sense. Let me see that again while I recall for this. So she she actually didn't dodge that one, but I I, I was targeting it on Varus, and that might have been why. Yeah, look at that movement. There's no way it wasn't an, an intentional dodge on my key, which is obviously not possible. I swear it did happen twice, though. That's what I recall. Maybe I was just getting confused with the W dodge, which is obviously a bit more achievable, but... The, like, it's not... Like, sometimes somebody will just dodge a center cube by accident, but that's... Not what it looked like. That looked like a very intentional movement. To dodge center cube while then continuing on her previous path. And that is not remotely possible. I have to give up the mist. Okay. He was probably fine there. Oh. Okay, nice. First of all, I can't really defend here. Nice. Oh, this is good. Oh, actually, go ahead. Doesn't matter. Nice. You can have it all, buddy. Except for that one, I guess. Ah, oh, <laughs> looked like I wasn't going for it. Okay, they got the Drake. I actually should have kept on pushing mid. There's nobody alive. Nobody was going to defend. Usually, if uh, this is what you would do on the retreat, you would just go into the enemy jungle, check their camps, try to still red or something. I can hit the turret a little bit longer, though. 
Your first priority is, is getting Yorick off their inhibs, so I might be able to also get this turret. I'll just wait until somebody actually shows up here and then leave. I'll run everybody with my E anyway. Okay, you got the red. Okay, a bit of a waste of my E, but I think I might be able to shove another wave here. Oh, nice. Very kind of you, Varus, to root that guy. He also was not really a threat to me, though, until the next wave showed up, so that's why I wasn't worried there. I was more worried about the Varus, since he could actually engage on me with the ult. He also couldn't dash onto me until the minions arrived. Um, I guess we'll go for Collector now. See, in all the Mana Moon games, I think this is the first time we actually get to build something after Mana Moon. Which is why all these games have felt super unsatisfying, because I haven't been able to see the combination of Muro Mana with Collector, which should be a really fun burst. Of course, we could all- oh, actually, although, although I have been doing uh, Rune and Savannah usually. <clears throat> so I might have seen more mana with rune ends. I don't, I don't feel like I have though. Let's see if she dodges my Q again. Uh, I can't be near Varus when I test it though. Okay. <laughs> Did Varus just flash? Oh, that was a misclick. Whoa, what the hell? It just looks unnatural, man. Like. I don't know what the fuck that was, but I think that was her using Q in the middle of combat, and the script just automatically did W for her, and it just looked like a, a weird, weirdly timed Q W combo. There was no, no reason to use Q W at that point, but it's most likely just because the W was a reaction, which for Fiora should not have been possible within that time frame. It was too instant. <coughs> she had time to react, but she obviously not that fast. <clears throat> I want the mist. Oh, I need to get away now. Oh. Jesus. Still kill you through there. Nice one. That's just then. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts on Sun ADC on this patch. Either based on what you've seen or if you've played some Sun ADC with Static Shiv. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.